wakati wa kukaa kimya utukufu na baba mwana na Daji wangu sitapungukiwa na kitu. Unipumzisha kwenye malisho mabichi, uniongoza kando ya maji matulivu na kunidhia Gopa atari yote. Maana wewe miu mwenyezi mungu upa moja nami. Mungu lako na fimbo lako na tuzalilina. Kanyandalia karamu mbele za adui zangu. Santeni wanakwaya, tunashikuru Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Tuwapigie makofi wanakwaya hawa Vile ambavyo wameendelea kutukuza mungu Na kwa sasa naomba Ili tuweze kutulia Naomba tuweze kutulia Kwa ajili ya kusoma neno la mungu Tunakaribisha masomo yote mtawalia Tunapo endelea hivyo, karibuni, karibuni Asante Somo letu la kwanza lapatikana katika kitabu cha Isaia 25 mstari wa sita kuendelea at, at, Somo letu la kwanza lapatikana katika kitabu cha Isaia 25 mstari wa sita kuendelea hadi tisa. Na katika mlima huu Bwana wa macheshi atawafanyia mataifa yote karamu ya vitu vinono karamu ya divai iliyokaa juu ya urochorocho wake karamu ya vinono vilivyochaa mafuta karamu ya divai iliyokaa juu ya urochorocho wake iliyochuchwa sana naye katika mlima huu utauharibu uso wa sitara iliyowekwa juu ya watu wote na utaji wa ule ulio tandwa juu ya mataifa yote amemesa mauti hata milele na Bwana na Mungu utafuta macho, utafuta machosi kati ya nyuzo sote na aibu ya watu wake ataiondoa katika ulimwengu wote maana Bwana ameanena hayo katika siku hiyo watasema tasama huyu ndiye Mungu wetu ndiye tulio mungojea atatusaidia huyu ndiye bwana tulio mungoja na tushangilie na kufurahia wokofu wake na ili ndilo neno la bwana somo la pili walipata kwa waraka wa kwanza wa Paulo Mtume kwa Thessalonike sura sura ya nne kuanzia mstari as 13 lakini ndugu Hatutaki msijue habari zao waliolala mauti. Msije mkauzunika kama na wengine wasio na matumaini. Maana 
ikiwa tuamini ya kwamba Yesu alikufa akafufuka vivyo hivyo na hao waliolala katika Yesu Mungu atawaleta pamoja naye kwa kuwa tuambieni haya kwa neno la Bwana kwamba sisi tulio hai takao salia hata wakati wa kuja kwake Bwana hakika hatutawatangulia wao waliokwisha kulala mauti kwa sababu Bwana mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni pamoja na mwaliko na sauti ya malaika mkuu na parapanda ya Mungu na waliokufa katika Kristo watafufuliwa kwanza kisha sisi tulio hai tulio salia tutanyakuliwa pamoja nao katika mawingu ili tumlaki Bwana hewani na hivyo tutakuwa pamoja na Bwana milele basi farijianeni kwa maneno hayo hili ndilo neno la Mungu Asante tunashukuru Mungu kwa somo la kwanza na somo la pili katika kuitikia nitaomba kwamba wanakwaya mtaimba wimbo mmoja alafu tutaingia katika sehemu ya maumbi ambapo Reverend John Kipsangut na Reverend Sawe Elisha watatuongoza kwa hivyo wanakwaya mtukuze Mungu kwa wimbo mmoja Asante we thank God for the order ambayo tume pata tuendelee hivyo na tuendelee kutulia kwa sababu tuko katika ibada asante na Mungu awabariki kwaya nafasi ni yenu One two one two. Mira kuskia vizuri sana. Argo saa. Niko na nani? Nauliza niko na nani studio? Oh Lulu H. Anaitwa Obi, 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 Obi.
ya ndugu wetu Kelvin Kitum kila mmoja wetu tufikirie alivyo kwa kwetu tuaja katika machonsi na katika furaha tulibarikiwa kumjua na kuishi naye kwa Yesu Kristo kwa hiyo tusaidie ili kila siku tuipate nyayo sako tukitumaia vyema kalenda setu sote tuchase neema ya kuweza ukapili mambo yaliyo masito katika maisha yetu atukiwa makini rehema ambaye hekima yako sabita fahamu sote Waangalie kwa neema familia ya Kelvin Kiptum katika majonzi yao Roho Mtakatifu aliyemfariki Wasaidie hili wasishinde na machozi yao Uwajalia sante kwa maombi hai tuta um by this is water simame na tuongozwe na Uh, kwa niaba pia ya kina mama wote tutaso, tutaomba Salina Kamal na kwa niaba ya wanaume wote tutaomba Titus Temuti endeshwa na kanisa katoliki wale ambao wamefika hapa kwa siku ya leo tumepata wageni kutoka ngazi za kimataifa na wa kwanza ambaye alifika hapa ni rais wa shirikisho la riadha duniani anaitwa bwana Sebko Uyo ni Dida ambaye anakuonyesha mali Sebko yuko amesimama pale na rais wa shirikisho la um, Riadha nchini ambaye ni ambaye ni Jackson Tuwei kwa hivyo tuko na wageni ambao tunatarajia bado kutoka shirikisho la Riadha duniani na pia rais wa nchi ya Kenya daktari William Ruto kwa hivyo program ya leo Yeah.
katika awamu ya kanisa kuweza kuwapole zao na tutaanza na idara ya vijana tuende katika idara ya kina mama kina baba zao na tutaanza na idara ya vijana tuende katika idara ya kina mama kina baba tukimalizia hivyo alafu tutaenda katika awamu nyingine Cornelius karibu Cornelius karibu you are welcome uh, viongozi ambao wamefika nimeona Chris Kipto nimeona Honorable Shuli pamoja na viongozi wote wa kanisa familia ya Kelvin Kiptum na wananchi wote Bwana Yesu asifiwe God is good and all the time eh, mwanzo ningependa kusema pole kwa familia ya Kelvin Kiptum kwa niaba ya vijana wa Chipkorio Parish eh, mnafyojua Kelvin Kiptum alianza kuja kanisa la Simotwet ambayo yuko anda Chipkorio Parish eh, ambapo mimi ni kiongozi wa vijana huko pia na niko na ushuhuda wa Kelvin Kiptum. Kelvin Kiptum alikuja mwaka wa 2022. Hiyo ndio mwaka ambayo alikuja kanisa. Na ilikuwa sherehe ya engagement ya jirani. So tulikuwa tunaongea tunakana yeye alikuwa mtu humble pamoja na vijana wa village. So kuna kijana moja ambaye alimwambia ukuje kanisa ilikuwa August 2022 na akakubali September akakuja ilikuwa tarehe 18 September akakuja kanisa the same year i think after one month akashinda Valencia so eh, aliweza kufanya mazoezi miaka mingi wakati huo wako anakuja kanisa lakini the same year yenye alikuja kanisa akashinda ile gold ya Valencia and then 2023 akakuja kanisa akabatiswa akashinda London Marathon so ni Mungu alimsaidia Kelvin Kiptum ni kama kama angekuja kanisa angepata hiyo eh, kufunja record so poleni sana poleni sana asante 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 Cornelius tumpigie makofi ametoa ushuhuda ya nguvu kwamba kanisa ililetea baraka bwana asifiwe asante tunaendelea hivyo kwa ufupi tu tunapoendelea asante god is good and all the time eh uh, wageni wa kiptum tunasema poleni sana kama idara ya kina mama mothers union st peter's cape corio parish tunasema poleni sana kwa familia ya Kevin tunasema pole kama wakina mama tuko na uchungu sana sababu tumepoteza mtoto wetu akiwa mchanga sana na tunasema Mungu atufariji sisi wote e, neno la Mungu inatupatia tumaini Yesu alisema kwamba eh, nyumbani kwa baba kuna nyumba mingi na tunajua kwamba ametuandalia makao mazuri tukikaa ndani ya Yesu Kristo so kwa niaba ya idara ya kina mama tunasema poleni sana Mungu atusaidie tunajua kwamba kuna baraka kubwa ambaye inakuja mbele yetu kwa e, niaba ya huyu kijana wetu na kwa niaba ya kanisa yote tunasema Mungu atufariji asante sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe e, kwa niaba ya kanisa kwa niaba ya idara ya Wase wa parokia ya Chepkorio tunasema pole kwa familia tunasema pole kwa mchane kwa baba mama na watoto wake 
kwa sababu ikifo ili tunyanganya kichana nchubafu na ni kichana bado mdogo so kwa ni hapa ya kanisa letu la SK Parish ya Chepkori ya idara ya wase tunasema pole na tunasema Mungu awafariji Bwana asifiwe asifiwe Yesu Mokosi a papa askofu majina yangu naitwa Timothy Kiptum daktari katika eneo hili nimesimama hapa kutoa rambirambi kwa niaba ya professionals wenye wako katika kanisa la kianglikana katika diocese hii Kelvin amekuwa ni mtu mkarimu amekuwa akisupport kanisa sana kwa hivyo tunashukuru na tunataka vijana wengi waike mfano ya Kevin. Kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya kanisa ya Anglikana tunatusema pole on behalf of the professionals. Cha pili tu waja niwaimise vijana katika area hii kwamba uh, rais amesema kuna outsourcing. One example is uyu Kevin Kiptu. Alienda kukimbia tukisikia marathon, Rotterdam, everything. That is what we call outsourcing of skills. So we will really appreciate Kwamba Killa outside and uh, uh, try as much as possible to bring resources home. So on behalf of the professional of this region, Tunasema Buryani Kelfi Kiktu. Asante. Najua ni uzuni, lakini naomba tuwapige makofi hawa wapendo ambao wame, wameweza kusugumza kwa ufupi hibo. Tunaingia katika awamu nyingine na baba askofu daktari Koril hapa ninajua apart from the Anglican Church Kiptum was coming from a community and also interacting with many churches I want to take this opportunity to make all the pastors and clergy from other churches to stand tafadhali we want to recognize the presence of apart from the Anglican clergy wale wengine wote msimame Asante nimeona kinandiwa na wengine wote nataka tuwapongeze hawa kwa kukuja kuombaleza pamoja na sisi tuwapige makofi tafadhali na niombe kwamba Reverend Noah Lele akuje awakilishe wengine wote Reverend Noah Lele akuje awakilishe wengine wote Asante sana wapenda tunashukuru vile tunaendelea hivyo Thank you. Karibu mchungaji. Naam. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Asifiwe Yesu. Eh, no alelea jeingia lakini mimi ni mchungaji wake. Kwa majina naitwa Kenneth Kipkuru mimi mchungaji wa IFC Chekorio ambapo Mr. Samson Jerudot na mkewe mimi wamekuwa wakihudumu nimekuwa mchungaji wao tulipatwa na hiki kisa kwa uzuni sana lakini nataka niseme tu poleni poleni Mungu awatie ngufu pia na sisi kama kanisa Mungu awatie ngufu nataka ni encourage wachungaji wengine wenzangu nikwambie ya kwamba tushikane mikono tuendeze injili injili na neno la Mungu tuwafikie wengine maana dunia huko duniani tumepewa maisha machache na baada ya hapa Biblia inatuambia ya kwamba kuna hukumu ukiwa umempokea Yesu hauwezi ukapotea lakini kama haujampokea Yesu maisha yako itaisha kwa niaba ya IFC kwa niaba ya makanisa haya ya Chikorio tunasema pole na Mungu wa faraja awafariji asante asante mchungaji nilifikiri wewe ndio mchungaji Noah unajua sijui lakini Noah akikuja utanionyesha ndio nijue alafu nitakujua pia baadaye asante tunashukuru kwa hayo naomba sasa kwamba uh, sijapewa orodha ya wanakwaya wengine lakini tuko na mwimbaji Rose Cheboy 
Roste Boy sijui yuko wapi. Karibu uweze kumtukuza Mungu kwa wimbo mmoja. Karibu kumtukuza Mungu kwa wimbo mmoja tunapoendelea na ratiba yetu. Viongozi wetu karibuni. Karibuni santeni kupata nafasi hii kuja kuweza kuomboleza pamoja nasi. Asante Roste Boy kama yuko niliona mwenye amesema okay yuko pale. Asante karibu uweze kumtukuza Mungu kwa wimbo mmoja tunapoendelea hivyo wapendwa asanteni tunaomba jinsi ambavyo tumetulia tuendelee hivyo na Mungu ataendelea kutubariki asante sana thank you uh, Rose tunaweza kuja mpaka hapa mbele kidogo naweza kuja mpaka hapa mbele kidogo sijui kama hiyo microphone itaenda vizuri thank you and it's okay hapo haina shida asante because of the microphone thank you tuendelee hivyo ni mwimbaji kutoka sehemu hii na tunashukuru Mungu. Kwa hivyo tunaendelea na maneno ya kusema pole. Maneno ya kusema pole na ningependa tu niseme ya kwamba hapa tulipo ni parokia ya Chekorio.
tukiongozwa na Archdeacon Patilon na pia familia wanakaa Chepsamo ambayo ni parokia Chorogate mahali ambapo Reverend uh, Philip Chuma anahudumu kwa hivyo tunaposonga mbele hivyo hapa askofu utadiruhusu niweze sasa kuleta askofu and, and Archdeacon wa area Archdeacon wa area akuja aseme machache kwa niaba ya Archdeacon hii Asante sana Archdeacon wa area aweze kukuja ili tuendelee hivyo Asante na baadaye nitaomba sasa kwa niaba ya team kutoka Kapsabet tutakuwa na Provost Nila atasema pia kwa ufupi karibu sana karibu basi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni wa salimu kwa jina la Yesu Bwana asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe vile mmesikia ninaitwa Federico Hosea Bartilon ambaye mahali tuko sasa tukifanya ibada ya mwenda sake Kiptum mimi ndio Archdeacon na mimi pia ni mchungaji wa Kiptum umesikia mwenye alipatisa ndio huyu kwa hivyo bila kupoteza baye mahali tuko sasa tukifanya ibada ya mwenda sake Kiptum mimi ndio Archdeacon na mimi pia ni mchungaji wa Kiptum umesikia mwenye alipatisa ndio huyu kwa hivyo bila kupoteza wakati nitakaribisha maaskofu niseme karibu sana daktari eh, Paul Kurir askofu Kapsabet karibu sana emeritus bishop uh, thomas kogo karibu sana karibuni uh, profost kapsabet very reverend ama fichi pia ya diocese yetu ya eldoret na sisi sote nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni wakaribisheni kwa china la yesu la pili nataka kwa heshima nifanye introduction ya wachungaji ambaye tunafanya kasi pamoja na nitawasihi wachungaji wa Archdeacon ambao wanafanya kazi na sisi mnajua ya kwamba hawa ndio wanafanya kazi kubwa sana hata kitu alishawishiwa sana na hawa lay leaders ikiongozwa na lay Philip Toroitich ambaye alifanya kazi kubwa kushawishi na ku train yeye aweze ku remember Kelvin Kiptu. <laughs> Kelvin really Kelvin was a gem, an absolute gem. Um, in so many respects. I like telling Kenyan youth that the Ismail Chesire kutoka barokia ya Soin missionary area. Mwenye anasimama pale akiweka mkono yake juu ni Reverend Morris Kimwei, Soin Masop, missionary parish. Mwenye mnaona anasukuka anatembea ni Reverend Philip Chumo ambaye ni rural dean na alifika wa Chororket Parish. Reverend Mark Bor ambaye ni mchungaji wa Metkei ameomba ruhusa yeye alikuwa mhubiri chana tukipokea mwili wake mwenda sake. Kwa hivyo sina mwingi administrative secretary sitaki kupoteza wakati na kushukuru na kusema karibu tuendelee kwa ibada. Asante Archdeacon naomba Medkey Gans watasongea karibu. Um Captain Gans eh. Captain Gans wasongee karibu. Eh, wajipange tu kabisa hapo ili waweze kuimba. Tunapoendelea hivyo. Captain Gans tafadhali some somebody to organize them waalete hapa mbele. Na wakati huo nitaomba kwa niaba ya team from Kapsabet. Tafadhali Provost Nila karibu alafu utatambua pia klaji ambao mmeandamana pamoja na wao asante thank you thank you wakati huo naomba kapenda gans wajipange ili tuwape nafasi askofu wetu daktari Paul Korir bishop emeritus bishop Kogo vicar general wachungaji ambao tuko pamoja familia ya Kitum and all guest na chukua nafasi hii ni wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah uh, naitwa Very Reverend Nila Fasi kutoka waskofu wa Kapsabet nikiwa 
Propose kule Saint Barnabas naleta pole zetu kwa familia na kwa watu wote ambao tumekuja ili tuweze kusimama na familia tunaposema pole kwa familia kitum na jamii yote kwa ujumla pamoja na kanisa ambapo tuliweza kumjua kitum kwa karibu kwa kumuona na pia kwa kupata nafasi ya kwa karibu tunakuja ili tuweze kusema pole kwa familia na kila mmoja wetu wacha Mungu atutie nguvu tunapoendelea kusema pole kwa rusa ya askofu kuna wachungaji ambao tumetoka kule Kapsabe pia watapata nafasi waweze kujitambulisha kindly the team from Kapsabe Naitwa Venerable Church Tenai kutoka Kapsabet Dices Poleni Reverend Wilson Pasi kanisa letu nchi yetu Poleni sana Asante Poleni So thank you Kapsabet for standing with us Mungu aweze kuwabariki kwa nafasi hii tutapatia uh, wanafunzi wetu kutoka shule ya upili ya Kapkenda, shule ya wasichana ya Kapkenda na wakimaliza pia tutaomba kwamba tuandae tuandae Chepsamo secondary. Chepsamo secondary tunaelewa um, Kevin alisoma Chepsamo primary lakini Chepsamo secondary waandaliwe pia mapema ili tukifika wakati tutawapatia nafasi hiyo. Asante karibuni Kapkenda Girls High School.
tafadhali asante sana sio chepsamo secondary ni chepsamo primary wonderful wonderful tuwapigie makofi tafadhali asante sana sio chepsamo secondary ni chepsamo primary na ni kama hawajafika tutaendelea wakiwa tayari mtatuambia wako eh asante asante waingie kwa stage wa mtukuze wa perform their activity ambayo they present their item ni wachache hivyo eh asante Tumegubikwa na usuni, tumepokea habari, inatichoma moyoni. Tumegubikwa na usuni, tumepokea habari, inatichoma moyoni kama mo Wa Kenya tuongoleza kwa hakika tunalia, nimekuwa nikiwaza ukweli saka kujua. Habari zikaelezea ya kwamba ni ajali, ni buriani kitu, ulaze palipo wema. sana tuwapongeze wanafunzi hawa hiyo ndio shule ambayo uh, Kiptum mwenda zake alisoma kwa hivyo ni Kapserere alafu tutafungia hapo Kapserere pia academy ni mahali ambapo watoto wa mwenda zake wanasoma na kwa hivyo karibuni tutatamatisha hapo tutaenda kwa awamu nyingine ya ratiba karibu
Absalera Academy tuwapigie makofi asanteni sana asanteni sana sasa ningependa kutambua wachungaji wa Anglikana ambao hawajatambuliwa waweze kusimama na waje mbele hapa tafadhali Anglican clergy ambao hatuja tambuliwa mtakuja ili mtajitaja tunapoendelea na ratiba hivyo karibuni karibuni wala ambao walikuwa wametajwa tayari hamuna budi kuketi sababu tayari tulisha wafahamu uh, ninyi asante sana karibuni um, thank you nafikiri ni jina mahali ambapo tuna hudumu tunapoendelea hivyo asante bwana yesu asifiwe ni reverend silas ruto na hudumu katika parokia la st paul's kidiwa kule heldoret poleni sana Itikadi zote ikizingatiwa naitwa Elija Bitung Nango kwa neema ya Mungu mimi ni mchungaji wa Kaptagat na tumeleta policy za Kaptagat kwa familia na... ni mchungaji Reverend Elisha Sawe mchungaji wa barokia la St Mary's Chifkiro Parish tunaleta policy kutoka barokia la Chifkiro na pia pamoja na barokia la Flax acha Mungu asimama pamoja ninyi Naitwa Reverend John Sangut na utumwa katika parokia St. Max Uruma. Tunalete pole setu kwa familia na parokia la Chororket na Chief Korio. Poleni sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina ni Reverend Christine Gipto, nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana, ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Mimi na hudumu St. Margaret Kipkabos Parish na tume tumeleta pole zetu kama barokia letu la St. Margaret kwa familia hii ya Kelvin na bwana wabariki. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Reverend Abraham Lagat kutoka shule ya upili ya Kiblondika High School. Taasisi ya Kapsabet. Mungu awafariji poleni sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Reverend Job Waweru Chege mchungaji wa Naiberi Parish na pia Rural Dean wa Kipkabos Dinari tunaleta pole zetu tukiwa dinari ya Kipkabos pole. Bwana Yesu asifiwe Venerable Charity Lagat mchungaji eh, Bishop Muge Parish na pia Archdeacon St Matthew's Cathedral tumeleta pole zetu sa St Matthew's Ajidikonari tunasema pole sana kwa familia hii ya Kevin Kiptum poleni Asante sana tunashukuru katika awamu hiyo um, anayewaongoza katika ratiba hii ni Archdeacon Ben Birech Diocesan Administrative Secretary nikileta pia pole za um, Bishop Sophie Staff pamoja na ADS Northrift ambao wametumana pole zao wa familia Kiptum kwa parokia ya Chipkorio na parokia pia ya Chororget. Kwa nafasi hii kwa niaba ya sinodi yetu nitauliza Canon Isaiah Kiplaga taweze kuja kusema pole kwa niaba yetu. Alafu kwa wakati huo nitakuwa naomba sasa vika general ya uaskofu wetu wa Eldoret atakuwa anajitayarisha ili kuchukua ushukani kuanzia hapo. Asante sana, asante sana. Karibu Canon katika ratiba ya hiyo tunashukuru vile tumeendelea kutulia. Asante na Mungu aendelee kutubariki. Thank you. Karibu Canon. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh, kwanza kabla ya kutoa pole ya sinodi ya Eldoret Diocese Nataka kusema pole kwa familia ya Kelvin Mimi nikiwa mtu wa kutoka area hii na wajua wasasi wake na walikuwa watu very humble people na nataka kusema tu poleni kwa kuachwa kwa Kelvin alikuwa ameanza tu kazi ya ukimbiaji na 
atuwezi kulaumu mtu yeyote tunashukuru Mungu na kuombea hao watoto wachanga wenye wa, wamewachwa na Kelvin na ta, ningetaka tu kuomba viongozi in future tukipata eh, wakimbiaji kama hawa wenye wameendelea kupitia kwa president ya AK muwe mkupatia security ya kutosha pengine kupatia driver na bodyguard so sitaki kusema mengi nataka tu kusema poleni poleni sana kwa niaba ya sinoti yetu ya Lord Diocese asante asante tunashukuru sana mpaka hapo wapendwa nitapisha sasa nafasi hii vika general ambaye atatuendeleza katika ratiba tunapoendelea na ibada hii Asante sana bado tunasema Mungu wa faraja aweze kufariji mama mjane pamoja na watoto na familia ya Kiptum kwa ujumla. Karibu Vika General. Okay bwana bwana asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi ni mchungaji Bernard Kuskei ambaye ni provost wa St. Matthew's na pia Vika General katika diocese yetu ya Eldoret. Uh, tumekuja hasa kusema pole kwa family ya Kelvin is a young man na kwa kweli ni hasara kubwa lakini for the short time God was able to give him life he has done so many things and therefore we want to say pole kwa family waja mama uh, mama Mungu awe pamoja nawe na family yake ya Kelvin Kelvin waja Mungu awe pamoja nanyi kwa nafasi hii askofu wetu hakuwa nafasi ameenda safari na angekuwa pamoja na sisi lakini alienda nafasi na ametukaribisha tumekaribisha maaskofu wetu hasa dr Paul Korir ataongea kusema pole kwa niaba yake na pia tuko na daktari emeritus dr bishop uh, Thomas Koko ambaye pia amekuja kuwa, amekuja kuwa pamoja nasi so yetu ni kusema asanteni kuja kwa ajili ya jambo hii ambaye kwa kweli ni hasara kubwa kwa mpendwa wetu wengi wetu tumekuja kwa ajili ya mtumishi wetu huyu kuna members wa sino tabao kwa pamoja nasi waje wasimame members wa sino wasimame mahali kote wako hawa ni member wetu wa sino ambaye canon ameongea juu kusema pole kwa niaba yao tuko pia na wachungaji ambao wamekuja pamoja pamoja nasi wasimame wachungaji hawa ambao wamekuja na wengine wengi tumekuja kusema pole waja Mungu awe pamoja nanyi kwa nafasi hii kwa nafasi hii ningependa kukaribisha askofu emeritus daktari Thomas Koko akuja aseme pole wakati huu karibu sana bishop askofu karibu sana karibu sana kwa nafasi ambayo Mungu amenipa mchana wa leo ndugu yangu askofu Dr. Paul Korir Kapsabet wageni ambao wamekuja kuungana pamoja nasi ambao ni naona kava na wasingishu na wanika wa Senate na marafiki wengi ambao labda sijawajua ma ministers na marafiki zote wa na familia ya Kelvin 
natuma rambi rambi zetu tukiwa maaskofu na kanisa la kianglikana kwa familia hii ya Kelvin wakati huu ambao tunaomboleza ningaomba tu wakati huu ambao ni wakati wa saumu tuchukue nafasi mwingi sana kuomba kwa ajili ya mambo ambayo yanaendelea na saidi kuwakumbuka wakimbiaji wakati huu ambao wanapitia changa mahili Mungu awe pamoja nasi na Mungu aungane pamoja nasi wakati kama huu ambao tunaomboleza na Mungu asidi kutingiza katika safari ya kwenda mbinguni na kabla kwenda kukaa chini ningeomba tuchukue nafasi ya dakika moja tafadhali let me request all of you we take time to pray at this minute kindly please i request you we pray before i leave here naomba tafadhali tunapoenda kuomba kama una changa fulani katika mwili wako tafadhali shika sehemu ambao unaugua katika maisha yako kama una kanza kama una shida ya miguu na popote katika mwili wako shika tuombe wakati huu na tuombe katika jina la Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu tuacha mbele zako kwa unyenyekevu nikiomba Baba unisamee katika dhambi zangu na pia wasamee wote ambao Mungu wametenda changa mbalimbali mbali. saidi wakati ambao tunapitia changa ya barabarani na magonjwa mbalimbali ambao tunapitia wakati huu Yesu Kristo ushuka wakati huu na ufunika watu wao katika damu yako Yesu Kristo ilio maweka msalabani shika kila mmoja ambao Mungu ana imani kwa kwa wakati huu na imani ya kwamba umesikia sauti ya sauti yetu kwa unyonge na kwa upole Yesu shuka na uponye watu kwa sasa katika jina la Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Amen May God bless you. Asante sana. Nadhani tumesema pole kila mmoja wetu. Wakati huu sasa nikipenda nipatie admission secretary aende kutoka hapo. Asia asante, asante naomba wanakwaya kutoka diocese. The diocese and choir to present a number tunapojipanga katika awamu ambayo inafuata karibuni sana wanakwaya wetu muweze kutukuza Mungu tunapoenda katika awamu nyingine thank you kujitayarisha ili tuweze kukaribisha baba wa taifa na kwa hivyo wala ambao wameenda mbele ndio watakao tuwakilisha tunapokaribisha rais wa nchi ambaye anakuja kwa siku ya leo kuomboleza pamoja nasi na kusimama nasi katika uzito ambao tumepoteza kupitia kwa mtumishi huyu Kelvin hivyo tunaendelea vizuri hivyo na tunaomba kwamba atakapokuwa anaingia Tutaomba sisi wote tutasimama ili tuendelee kuweza. Asante ni waimbaji mnaendelea vizuri. Tuendelee na wimbo hivyo.
katika hali ya kujitayarisha ili tuweze na ninaomba wananchi wote tutatulia wananchi wote tutatulia ibada inaendelea na kwa hivyo wachache tu ambao wametumwa kule ndio watakao karibisha rais na konvoi yake wanapoingia asanteni sana waimbaji mnaendelea vizuri thank god for this opportunity ambao Mungu anatupatia sisi wote kusimama na familia thank you thank you thank you asante mike kitone pamoja na mike uh, asante naona mnajipanga vizuri tunashukuru sana 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 asante sisi wote tutakuwa tunasimama ili tuendelee na chorus tafadhali tunaendelea na chorus tunapoendelea kuongoja kuwasili kwa baba wa taifa tutasimama sisi wote na waimbaji tafadhali praise and worship we want to sing praises we want to sing praises tunapoendelea hivyo na katika kukaribisha baba wa taifa rais wa nchi tutakuwa tunamsifu Mungu kwa furaha Tukijua ya kwamba ni mapenzi ya Mungu kutuleta sisi wote kuwa faraja kwa ajili ya mtumishi huyu mwenda zake Kiptum ambaye ni uzuni kubwa kwa familia na katika sehemu hii. Waimbaji tafadhali. Waimbaji. Ni wanema Yesu ni wanema kubwa. Yesu baba ni wanema Yesu ni wanema kubwa. Tunaruhusiwa kupiga makofi wapendwa. Nikusifu Mungu. Ambaye ni wafaraja yote.
sifa vizuri Naendelea na sifa vizuri Kiongozi wa taifa anapoingia Tunaendelea kusifu Mungu na kumtukuza jina lake kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu wa faraja zote Rais Daktari William Ruto Anapoingia na shukuru Naendelea kusifu Huyu mungu ambaye ni mungu wa faraja zote Naendelea hivo Professor Barto, Karibu sana. Thank you. Asante, Professor Margaret. Karibu.
Yesu asifiwe. Tusalamiane tu hewani Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Munisalamie kuko kuko kuote asante sana. Asante tunashukuru Mungu Baba wa Taifa. Karibu sana katika siku hii ambayo ni nzito lakini Mungu ni mwaminifu. Tunajua ya kwamba familia wamepoteza. Lakini pia taifa tumepoteza mtu shubafu. Kwa hivyo baba wetu wa taifa karibu katika ground hii ya Chepkorio umefika kama tumeendelea na ibada na tukakungoja tu katika sehemu ya neno la Mungu. Kwa hivyo utaturuhusu kwa nafasi hii tutembee kwa haraka sana katika ratiba na nitaomba sasa sisi wote katika ratiba yetu um, baba wa taifa mbele yetu tuko na baba askofu emeritus daktari Kogo na mnenaji wa siku hii ya leo ni baba askofu kutoka uaskofu wa Kap, eh, Kapsabet daktari uh, Paul Koril. Na kwa hivyo tutasimama sisi wote katika ratiba yetu tuimbe Bwana usehemu yetu. Iko katika program hii na naomba wanakwaya mtatuongoza tenzi 116 tuweze kusikia neno la Mungu. Karibuni wote baba wa taifa bado tunasema karibu na viongozi ambao wameandamana pamoja nawe. Asanteni sana wapendwa wanakwaya Bwana usehemu yangu Pamoja Bwana usehemu yangu 
Rafiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu twatembe yana wewe pamoja pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu twatembe yana wewe oh mali ya pasikuta Yani kute mashaka sawasa wana we pamoja pamoja na we pamoja Twa tembe yana Ani yongo ze safari ni bele uni chukue mlango ni mwambingu ni ningi yena wewe pamoja 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 na wewe Langoni ma bindu ni ni Baba mwema Mungu wetu uishie milele Mungu wetu usiyebadilika Nena pamoja nasi na utufariji kwa neno lako takatifu nitumie kama chombo chako kwa ajili ya faraja kwa kuondokewa kwetu na mpendwa wetu Kelvin Ulie mpenda sana baba mwema utufariji kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu tafadhali tukae ni wasalimu katika jina la Yesu bwana Yesu wasifiwe bwana Yesu wasifiwe nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu aliyeniokoa your excellency the president of the republic of kenya and all other protocols of served On behalf of the church the parishes of St Peter's Jeff Corio and St Bartholomew Chororget and the diocese of Eldoret Bishop Dr Christopher Ruto who is away in the USA we can say he is daring abroad and all the clergy and the Christians of this diocese of Eldoret and on my own behalf And on behalf of the of the religious leaders of this very region we share our deepest condolences and prayers and sympathy with you your excellency the president of the republic of kenya and with the good people of this country great nation of kenya and with the family mama asanet and the children plus the siblings of kelvin and his parents and with the community the county government of Elkeyo Marakwet with their, all the athlete, athletes from across the club we pray that our good lord will grant you strength and fortitude that you may bear the loss may it be well with your soul fare thee well our hero kelvin by your commitment to excellence and performance You have put Kenya in the map of the world. You will be missed by people of all walks of life. But we know we shall meet again far beyond the river. You as Kelvin was alive well lived though cut short by the fatal accident. We celebrate you and we thank God for giving you to us. You are very such humble person a working servant of God with the spirit of servanthood. You are true epitome of simplicity and yet you had conquered the world you grew from grass to grace to you asanet and the children may the lord strengthen you 
happened was the most unfortunate and painful thing in human life is death. As much as death is real, it only separates us with our loved ones temporarily. We Christians are people of hope and resurrection. This morning, of I want to talk about the seven words of Jesus Christ on the cross. Wakati Yesu aliange kwa msalabani, akawa na maneno saba, nataka tushiriki pamoja. Kwanza, ni katika matayo 27 mstari wa 46. Kama saa tisa hivi, Yesu akapasa sauti yake kwa nguvu akisema Eloi Eloi lama sabaktani. Yaani Mungu wangu Mungu wangu mbona umeniacha. This cry is ours too. At such a time as this when we feel the vacuum and the pain and the grief for one of us is no more. People cry when they are inflicted with pain, grief and sorrow. And they are seeking for help. We cry to release pain and suffering and agony. Yes, wakalia kasema eloi eloi lama sabaktan. Divizuri tena inapendeza. Wakati unapitia machungu upate na fazi ya kulia. Umlilie mungu wakati unasikia machungu katika maisha yako. Yesu mwenyewe akasema eloi eloi lama sabaktan. Wakati kama huu kuondokewa na mpendwa wetu ulimwengu mzima unalia ukisema Eloi Mungu wetu usituaje baba mwenye familia kanisa majirani taifa letu tunaomboleza na tunalia Mungu wetu usituaje ni vyema kulia wapendo ni vyema wakati mwingine upase sauti sasa ile unasikia machungu katika maisha let us not pacify pain your Excellency, nilikuwa nawambia vijana kule nandi juice. Kambia kwamba, wewe ukiwa kijana. Na unaona unanyanganywa your girlfriend. Pasa sauti pika nduru. Usijinyonge, tutakusaidia. Pasa sauti. Pasa sauti. Lia. Lia. Utasaidi. Wana yesu wasifiwe. Akalia. Yesu wakasema eloi. Eloi lama safak. And so as we eulogize this great man, I want to pray that our God will wipe our tears. He will come through for the family and for all of us, and particularly to you, your excellence and this beloved country. Jesus never wanted to pacify pain, for pain is real. He cried to show us that he was fully human and he was fully God. And therefore, he was weak and broken, connecting with the real world of suffering and pain. He connected truly and sincerely with the ordinary. In his life and vocation and career, Kelvin rest in peace. As much as he was known internationally, Kelvin was also known locally. He connected with the very, very ordinary. So fare thee well. We were told of the school he went to. We were told of his humble background. And yet God raised him and lifted him. He was very, very humble and simple. Angapatikana hapa tu, akijesa pool, akiwa ordinary, anaongea luka ya kawaida, anaingia kwa hotel ya kawaida, anakunywa chai kwa mandas. Lakini unajua hii dunia kuna watu ambaye wakepata tu cheo kidogo. Ukimwambia tuingie hapa tukunywe chai, anasema nataka kuona menu. Unaona menu kwa hoteli ya nyumbani ambaye unajua kama si kama si mandasi kwa chai ni ukali kwa manaku. Why do you need? Mbona unahitaji menu na unajua tu? Unamwambia una mtu tuingie tukunywe chai anasema I want to have pilau. Kelvin was so humble. He was down to heart. Nikiwa kijana kabla sijaokoka nilipeleka msichana hoteli ya nyumbani nikamwambia tukunywe chai akasema no i feel like having chips 
and Pilau. What? In the village. Zero point zero. Anyway, that is for another day. We need a people who can capture the spirit of Galvin of simplicity and humility in the name of Jesus. Yesu akaendelea in John chapter 19 verse 28. Baada ya hayo Yesu aliagijua ya kuwa yote yamekwisha kumalisika ili andiko litimizwe akasema naona kiu. That is neno lake la pili msalabani akasema naona kiu. Jesus is the living water that quenches the thirstiness of this world. Jesus was reaching out to be served. A friend in need is a friend indeed. From the time when Adam and Eve disobeyed God in the Garden of Eden, humanity is, also, humanity is always empty, benight, limited, and thirsty. Your Excellency, before you came, a testimony was given that in 2022, Kelvin came to church. He was prayed for. And after coming to church, he went to win the marathons. And the person who was giving the testimony, akasema, ni kama vile walikutana na mungu kanisani, mbingu ikafunguka. Ikawa ni kufunja record tu. Hata hii arota tamambai iko April, angeangusha katika jina la yesu. Fair thee well, Kelvin. Yesu akasema naona kiu. Ninaitaji maji. Akasema ya kwamba let me reach out. Tunaposema pole. This is the man who became a blessing not only to the family, not only to the community, but also to the athletics world. He inspired aliwakusa wengi sana. Yesu akasema naona kiu. Kumanisha ya kwamba tunaitajiana. We need to reach out. Tutafutane, tutiane moyo. Kama Kelvin aliwakusa wengi, umbiletu ni ya kwamba tuwepia watu wakusa, waku wakusa wengi katika maisha haya. Fare thee well, the servant of God. Kilio chake cha tatu yesu, ni katika luka 23, mstari wa 28. Yesu waka wake ukia, akasema, enyi pindi, Sa Yerusalem. Musinililie mimi. Bali jililieni nafsi senu na watoto wenu. This is an act of gratitude. Jesus is fully aware that the tears of the mothers will change the narrative. And for that, he is asking the mothers to underrate their tears. For their tears are so powerful and do touch the heart of God. Cry for the state of the unemployment of the young people. Cry for the, cry for the drug abuse. The infamous philosophy of Wachakoya. Drunkardness. Teenage pregnancies. The life of endangered boy child. Who many a times go through identity crisis. Mothers cry. Daughters of Jerusalem. God sees your tears. And he will come through for you at the right time. For God's timing is always the best. So Jesus is raising the status of women. Calling them daughters of Jerusalem. In other words, you belong to the king. You are daughters of the king. Daughters of the president. Daughters of status. You have been lifted. You are no longer there to be seen. But you are given a status and a voice. Women empowerment. Jesus is telling them, daughters of Jerusalem, when you cry, heaven will be shaken and blessings will come down in the name of Jesus. Same to all of us here. Ya kwamba wa mama wakati huo wa Yesu msalabani akasema angependa wa mama watiwe ngufu wajue ya kwamba kwa majonzi yao hata na inji inaweza kutingizika na watabarikiwa na wa mama wapendwa mukibarikiwa msitusao sisi wase msituaje nyuma tavada nimeomba wa mama wakati wewe umebarikiwa usisao mzee Hata kama wewe uko na transport ya kulipa boda boda, tafadhali patia mzee, iwe ni yeye anamlipa mtu wa boda boda. Patia yeye. 
You know men don't need anything. Tunataka to recognition and appreciation. Wakati unaliba boda boda batia mimi mzee, nishike pesa, nimbatia mutu wa boda boda. Hata agiwana wewe ulinipatia, anajua ni mimi nilimpatia. Give us space wa mam. When you are empowered, remember us. Tukienda kununua vitu dugani kama ni supermarket, wewe chakua kama ni kulipa, patia mimi nilipe. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. <laughs> Men. Sa idea sis. Na tumesema na tumeomba watu wa bigi bigi tafadhali. Vile ilivyo, tukipanda bigi bigi, mimi ndiyo nitapanga vile tutaka. Mimi nitaka katikati mama akae nyuma yeye anishike mimi ni kushike wewe mtu wa bota bota twende mbele so that is the arrangement which is coming very Daughters of Jerusalem praise the Lord Daughters of Jerusalem as a net, you are the daughter of Jerusalem Galvinas cone but we want to declare here and now that your children and your children's children will never lack in the name of Jesus. You are a daughter of Jerusalem. Kilio chake chane. Yes, wakasema in Luke 23 verses 34, Baba uwasame. Kwa kuwa wajui watendalo, wakakawa mafasi yake wakapikia kura Yesu akalia akasema uwasame The power of life lies in forgiveness The tone of reconciliation comes from the victim to the offender Asema baba uwasame Your excellency omini akamba when our people have been blessed and they have been raised from grass to grace. Sikia mtu wamefunja regodi, mekua record holder, kama huyu mpendwa wetu Kelvin. Maybe wakati mwingi sana, they be given security. Awe na askari, awe na driver, awe. Inga waje kifu watuwezi kusuhia, lakini tujaribu. Tujaribu tu. That is the cry. Baba wasame. Forgiveness begets healing and restoration. To forgive is to have the power to let go of the past pain. Niliyoko katare shirina inne mwesi wa kumi, 1987, nika ingia kwa tukutendere sana shukuru mungu sana. Kabla ya kuokoka your excellency nika onja msamaha nilikuwa na msichana mmoja ambaye alikuwa rafiki yangu nilikuwa nimemwambia maneno mengi nikamwambia nitakupeleka Mombasa najua kumwambia msichana unapeleka Mombasa wakati wetu it that was the highest place to go na akawa amenipenda lakini siku moja akaniandikia barua akasema our love imeisha bas nikasema liwe liwalo nikifikiria kujinyonga Hakuna 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 ngombe ya kuwachinjia wa ombolezaji nikasema sita jinyonga you know you have to calculate so nikasema hapana sita jinyonga one day one time nikawa ninaenda nikaona yule msichana anakuja si ni kama ni yeye alikuwa anaitwa Flora si ni kama Flo alikuwa anaitwa Flo nikaangalia ni yeye na kulikuwa na kitu kama manyunyu ni kama mvua inakuja hakuna mtu barabarani na anaenda kishaki, anaenda kushaka maini. Nikaona, nikasema, leo ni leo, asemae kesho ni mwongo. Nitapika makoti, ni mwombe msama, si watu wa wako, mungu amelete mfua. Wakati mungu anataka kutengeneza, jia anatengeneza. So, nikaenda, akakuja, ninaenda, nikasema ni yeye kweli. Halipo karibia, nikapika makoti. Nika muambia, flo, unisame. Nyo, you are at kaika. Haka niangalia, haka sema uwe si mama, tukumbona unapika makuti, ni kase mama. Haka sema hili nijue you mean what you say, ni bebe maindi haya. Debe mbili, saa ingine. Saa ingine nasikia shingo upande huu, ni kama hile maindi nilebeba. Baba uwa same. Haka nisame, tukaenda, tukashaka maindi, tukarudi, hakuna mtu barabarani. 
nikafikisha yeye nyumbani akaniambia wewe utakuja kwa disco jioni nikamwambia nitakuja nilipoenda kwa disco yule kijana ambaye alikuwa amenyanganya yeye alikuwa na yeye huko pia ah nikasema nilisamewa mjana nitasamewa usiku ah si uwezi kuninyang'anya yeye tena nimepema mahindi dp mbili baba uwasame baba uwasame hiyo ilikuwa ya nne kwa sababu ya saa i want to say the rest to be continued kujeni kanisa tutasikia mambo mengi lakini mambo mazito makubwa ni ya kwamba Yesu alisikia uchungu kama sisi so for you servant of god fare thee well saviri salama kelvin may the lord lead you may the lord guide you so ya tano john chapter 19 verses 30 basi yesu alipokwisha kuipokea ile siki alisema imekwisha kainama kichwa chake akaisalimu roho yake the whole the system has ushered in the new order we are now a new creation forget the former things for, for god has favored you imekwisha o yesu alipokuwa msalabani akasema imekwisha the new dispensation asema imekwisha luka 23 mstari wa 46 yesu akalia kwa sauti kuu akasema ee baba mikononi mwako na iweka roho yangu in the hands of god i commit my spirit so ya mwisho ya saba yesu akam, yesu akamwambia amini amini na kuambia leo hivi utakuwa pamoja nami peponi paradiso Eta, entering with jesus to the kingdom of god our heavenly home is a privilege and it's a great honor Paradise is the desired eternal life and the journey to that place starts here on earth. So you Kelvin fare thee well. Travel safe. Your family will be taken care of by God. Your people will be taken care of by God. This great nation will be protected by God and God is faithful. Finally kuishi katika maisha haya nilikuwa nimesema hapo mwanzo Mungu akikupatia nafasi uwafikirie na uwakumbuke watu wengine how will your life bless others how will my life bless others how can i be a blessing tukiangalia maisha ya Kelvin maisha yake ilikuwa ni maisha ya kuwabariki watu wengi watu wengi walibarikiwa kwa ajili yake kuanzia familia majirani county the nation and even in the club he was so passionate that he served others nimekuja kumpenda one of the governors by the name Kangata Irungu Kangata Irungu of course i love my governor Nandi county but i'm just using this for this space Kangata Irungu alipopata nafasi ya kuwa kavana akaangalia maisha ya watu wa Muranga na akasema hakuna watu wengi sana wa you know most of the people our party watoto size akajiuliza ni nini inafanyika akauliza na akasema mimi nataka niwe mtu wa baraka kama umeoleka ukipata mimba akasema wewe ukipata mimba ujiandikishe kwa ofisi ya kavana ya kwamba Mungu amenibariki unaandika unaweka kopi ya marriage certificate unatuma kwa ofisi yake every month tangu siku ile ulipobarikiwa na Mungu unapata allowances ambayo inaitwa responsibility allowances ya 2000 shillings kila mwezi ya mama mtoto akitaka matumbo huko na 2000 per month ndoto akitaka nini huko na 2000 per month na anasema you can take advance ukitsikia ya kwamba unataka advance una, si wanajua 9 times 2 ni 18000 unaweza chukua advance ya 10000 ununue vitu ambaye mtoto anataka 
Long live Kangata. Anyway, so nilikuwa namwambia mke wangu juzi tujaribu ya Kangata moja. Anyway, Mungu atubariki. Baba mwema tunasema ni asante. Waja mwenda zake asabiri salama kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu. Asandeni na Mungu awabariki. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We can appreciate more that we can appreciate more that someone please to pick him a coffee tena. Asante sana baba Askofu. Thank you, thank you. It has come at the right time. Na kwa nafasi hii sasa tutasimama sisi wote ni nafasi ya kutoa sadaka. Na rais tukimaliza tuko na special prayer kama kanisa kwa athletes wetu. Kwa hivyo tukiombea sadaka pia tutaomba athletes ambao mko hapa mtasongea mbele ili tuweze kuwaombea asante sana kwaya mtaendelea kuimba na vyombo vya sadaka iko karibu pamoja nasi na kwa hivyo tutaendelea kutoa sadaka hizo ninaarifiwa kwamba uh, wako tayari tutoe kama tumeketi kwa hivyo rais tunaomba pia tutaketi ili tuendelee na kutoa sadaka zetu wala ambao wako pamoja nasi kupokea sadaka tafadhali tuendelee hivyo na tutaendelea katika hali hiyo asante sana wanakwaya mtaendelea kusifu ukimaliza maybe kama nafasi itapatikana uh, cheboy anaweza imba moja tunapoendelea kutoa sadaka zetu karibuni sana wanakwaya thank you
kwaya mnaendelea kwaya vitu vyote vya toka kwako ewe mwenyezi Mungu Baba mwema tunakushukuru sana kwa sababu ndani ya ibada hii kwa sababu mwenda zake Kelvin alikuwa mtu mkarimu sana alitoa kwa ukarimu kwa ajili ya kazi ya Mungu kazi ya jamii Baba tumetoa matoleo haya iwe sehemu ya faraja kwa familia wabariki watu wako maana wametoa kwa furaha na kwa ukarimu iendeleze kazi ya faraja kwa familia Tukisema ni asante. Bariki matoleo haya na uwabariki watu wako katika jina la Mungu Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. We continue thanking God for our athletes. We want to pray for you and we stand here and declare that you will be called blessed. You will lift the banner of this country. There is no gain without pain. We want to commit you to the Lord that you will be a blessed people. Great things will come your way. We want to bless you. You've raised the banner of this great nation, Kenya. Our athletes will have us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every individual athlete and them collectively, we pray, Jehovah, that you will bless them. Shake the heavens and cause them to succeed. We declare here and now that victory and success will be their portion in the name of Jesus. We want to refuse the spirit of accidents in the name of Jesus. You're nullifying it. You will live long to see the fruits of your labor. You will be called blessed as you come in. You will be ble called blessed as you go out. May you continue lifting the flag of this great nation, Kenya, making all of us proud, and more importantly, making His Excellence and the people of Kenya proud because of your talents and your gifting. We bless you for all the plans that you have may they be fulfilled. So we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. This is our prayer. Even as we eulogize, as we remember the sudden demise of Kelvin, we pray that another Kelvin who will break and shatter the records in whatever field through you shall come to pass. May you be blessed in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To begin, yes, to my coffee, a Sunday sun. You can now stand to see Mama Tabadan Sunday Sana. Thank you so much. Thank you. Asante Baba Skofu. They are saying they have a song or a chorus. Is there any? Asante Sana. Your Excellency Naona Emily Japchumba is asking for a they are asking for a short chorus, please. I wake you. Emily Japchumba lead that session to Sunday Sana. Thank you. Thank you. Kuna mwenye anaweza kuongoza chorus. Nisalama muyoni mwangu Niyo napo wangani kama shwani Ama niyo na kushida 
Thank you, uh, Your Excellency. Na Deputy, tungependa sasa kwa nafasi hii kuombea family. Tunaomba family members wa songe mbele kiasi. Ili uh, baba skofu, daktari emerita saweze kuwaombea. Family members, musimame. Simame ni tu alafu tukaribia hapo. Tunapo sema maombi kwa niaba ya familia. Family members, kisame utelilse? Kisame utelilse? Samo Telelse, Acha, His Excellency Kai, Tuendeuku. Thank you. Um, Tunaelekea Tamati, Akini Kuni Kuombea Familia, Asante. Tunaombea kwa imani, tukia family pamoja nanyi, 
Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, come now, Jesus Christ. You see your servants, how they are feeling at this moment. Unawana Yesu Christo miyoe ya wakati huu. Bwana wafute majonzi ndani ya maisha yao. Hata Yesu Christo, Lazaro alibolala. Ulienda ukalia. Kanisa tumekuja kulia pamoja nao. Wapangusie machonzi yao. Hata serikali yetu na president na wote ambao wanahusika wakati huu. Na kama kuna mmoja wao wakati huu anaukua katika maisha yake kama mwili wake. Naomba Yesu Kristo uponyaji itoke mbinguni. Yesu ushuke katika nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Bwana washike na wakuze mioyo zao e Mungu wangu. God of Abraham, shikilia Yesu Kristo. Tukilia wakati huu kwa familia hii ya Kevin. Bwana, shuka. Na kwa imani ambayo tunaimba Mungu, kuomba Mungu usikie katika jina la Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Asi asante sana. Asante sana. Wimbo huo ni salama rohoni tunapoendelea kutamatisha ratiba ya wakati huu na ninapopisha wenzangu asante sana. Uh, rais pamoja na deputy tumefikisha hapo ibada ya siku hii ya leo na kwa nafasi hii nataka tukushukuru wote ambao tumeshirikiana pamoja kuhakikisha kwamba ibada imefika. Asante ifike mahali ambapo tumefika na kwa nafasi hii mtaniruhusu sasa nipishe Mike Kitonga ambaye ataendelea kuanzia hapo. Asante na Mungu aweze kuwabariki. Thank you karibu. Asante. Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Daktari William Samoe Ruto Naibu wa Rais, Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa, Waziri Mkuu Musalia Mudavadi, Gavana wa Elgeyo Market, Wesley Rotich, Magavana Wenza, Mawaziri na Makatibu wote waliofika hapa, viongozi wa riadha katika kitengo cha ulimwengu, Afrika na Kenya, wanariadha wa nchi mbalimbali waliofika mahali hapa, viongozi wa tabaka mbalimbali Waombolezi wote waliofika hapa na wale wanaotuunga kwa mtandao na runinga kwa heshima naomba sasa ni mwalike profesa Paul Kimurto ambaye atasoma hadithi ya mwenda zake at this point i would like to invite to invite Paul Kimurto who is going to read the eulogy of our departed hero Kelvin Kiptum welcome sir Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, I wish to read the eulogy of Kelvin Giptum, our son, on behalf of the family. The early life. The late Kelvin Giptum was born in 1999 at Chipsamo. Late Kelvin Giptum was born in 1999 at Chipsamo, Kapkenda sublocation, Mosob location, Keyo South. Constituency, Elgeo Maracuet County. Uh, he was the firstborn child of Mr. Samson Chiriot Chipkiyeng 
and Mrs. Mary Chepkieng, Chibagapio Kongi, the angle of Joseph Chepkieng, Philip Kiblaga Chepkieng, and the late Mariko Chepkieng Chepkongi. The late Kelvin was an uncle to Ruth Chepkieng, Rospella, and Jane. He was the nephew to Elizabeth, Juliana, Paulina, Tamurei, and the late Tapkili, Tabutic, and the late Anne. He was the stepbrother to Rhoda Chemutai, cousin, to, uh, cousin brother to Kimutai, Patrick, Timothy, Bernard, Sami, Sabina, Tapita, Catherine, Susan, Viola, Winnie, Oscar, Emmanuel, Nancy, Charity, Marilyn, Irene, Elizabeth, Beatrice, Emma, Faith, and the late Phyllis. He was a brother-in-law to Marcy, Cynthia, Monica, Margaret, Naomi, Viola, Andrew, Sammy, Okla, Hilary, and Kennedy. Matano's son to Margaret and Purity. He was the uncle to Maurice Kangogo, Mariko Kangogo, Lawrence Kangogo, and Kenneth Kangogo. Kevin was son-in-law to Joseph Rotich and Priska Rotich. Kevin's education life. The late Kevin joined Capserere Academy within uh, Jepsamo area, Jepkorio area, and later transferred to Kipchawa Primary School. But he later came back home and joined Jepsamo Primary School, where he did his KCBE in 2012. He joined Jepkorio Vocational Training College, which is not very far from here in the year 2013. He graduated with a certificate in electrical engineering, uh, but later on, we know that Kiptum, bright star shown to briefly. The Kenyan world champion, uh, Olna, tragic death at the age of 24, leaves us with an answered question over his first potential in athletics. The, the family mourns his departed soul. His sports career. The late Kevin Kiptum, the world champion record holder, began his sporting career very early at Chipsamo Primary School in Staten 4 at the age of 10. But the training was not routine practice. Since Kip, the training was a routine practice, since Kiptum used to go for training sessions barefoot during and after he had finished herding the family livestock in Kaptagat Forest, uh, next to the family home in Jepsamo. The late Kiptum was an active member of athletics during, during his primary school games, and he won several competitions, both at sonar level, sub-county level, and sometimes at the county level, when he was in the primary school. After completing the primary school, his father convinced him to begin electrical studies at Chip Corio Vocational Training College, which is actually within this vicinity, but he preferred to devote his attention to athletics. In turn, of becoming the latest world uh, marathoner from the Great Rift Valley. While at the, the Vocational Training College, Kelvin used to exercise very early in the morning uh, from 5 to 7 a.m. before attending his lessons. During his morning exercise, he met athletes from Jeff Korea training camp who motivated him to join join them. He could not afford to stay in Eldred on road training. Since he could not afford to stay in Eldred or transport to and from Eldred where there are training facilities like Kipchoge Stadium or Chef Koile University uh, track field, studies University of Eldoret. After his studies, he personally started another training camp at Chief Corio, a training athletic camp, where he was later joined by his friends, including Timothy, uh, Tanui, and many other upcoming athletes who are in our midst today. It is during this period that his dreams came through as he as a hero in the field of athletics because he got time to focus on the training. Kiptum also met his late coach, Mr. Kelvanis Akisemana from Rwanda, 
who perished with him during the tragic accident during that time when he was at Chief Corio. They became so close and Giftun followed the easy instructions during his training sessions with a lot of diligence, devotion and commitment and discipline. These joint efforts between him and his coach bear fruit and his star began to shine when he first participated in El Doret Family Bank Marathon in 2018 and he might the winner. He also participated in the Eldoret Cast Marathon, where he also won with ease. Later in 2020, Kiptum completed, competed in Kakamega Forest Half Marathon, where he also won with a lot of ease. After winning many local races, the late Kiptum got an opening, an opening to travel abroad for international competitions. He's fast international marathon competition was in Valencia, Spain in 2022, where he participated and won with two hours, 0 0.1 minute and 53 seconds, putting him the fastest marathoner in the world. The following year in 2023, he participated in the London Marathon, where he won again with two hours, one minute and 20 second, second, 27 seconds, placing him the second fastest Maradona in the world after Eliud Kipchoge. In the same year in October 2023, Kiptum also participated in Chicago International Marathon in the US and broke the world record at two, men, two hours and 35 seconds. He has always reduced the speed and you could see already a minute had been dropped. Kiptum was unique. In a little over 10 months, from January to October, he recorded the fastest, the fastest debut marathon in history. He went to break, he went quicker to win the London Marathon and then knocked an enormous 34 seconds of Kipchoge was record in Chicago. Kiptum had three marathons, three victories, and three of the seven fastest times in the history of marathon. Kiptum won Oh, Kiptun would also, Kiptun would not post or talk about his success to the media or to the public. He would do this in a soft-spoken way and shy with a lot of humility and ampleness at all times, including on the camera when he was interviewed by the media. As he was preparing for his next two races to come later this year, Kiptun was not resting. He was training very hard, studying every morning from Flosba to Cap Tagat Forest, covering a distance of 42 kilometers every day from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. in less than two hours, with, with his coach and many of the athletes who are here. They were winding the hills and steep terrains of Elgeo Marakwet escapement, escapement to cover one of the longest and the very high heeled uh, terrain. He had real ambitions and aspirations of becoming the first man to officially win below two hours marathon race in the world in April this year. His family life and marriage. The late Kelvin was married to Asnet Chiruto Rotich Kiptum in 2017 in a traditional marriage. They were blessed with two children, namely Kevin Kigen and Precious Cherop. He was also an uncle to Linda, Bill, Abel, Sheila, Mariko, Meshak, Joy, Kevin, Tracy, Faith, Sandra, Maureen, Chantel, James Jumba, Alvin, Beryl, Shanice, Jelimo, and Fabian, among others. We pray God to lift each generation, includes the names that are here, to his greatness in the coming years. Our big regret as a family is that Giptum never had enough time and never managed to share the rewards of his toil with his young family, the community, the country, and international community at large. Gone too soon, Kelvin. Is Christian life. The late Kelvin was a member of the Anglican Church of Kenya, Diocese of Eldoret, and also a member of St. Peter's Parish, Chepkorio, and also St. Mary's Simotuet Local Church in Chepkorio, as 
the Reverend has talked about here. He was baptized by Benerval Osea Partilol on 26 February 2023. He meant that young youth and lately he was coordinating the development pillar of the church and also he was a member of the Kenya Anglican Male Association. He was also involved in several uh, departmental matters in the local church and at parish level. He also sponsored several children who are in secondary school and around, in, around the, the, the secondary schools around the community who were also had a lot of passion in athletics, health. The late Kiptum was in good health until Sunday, February 2024, where he was involved in a tragic road accident along Eldoret Kaptagat Chipkoria Road while di driving home from Eldoret Town with his coach, Kevanas Asikimana from Rwanda, who perished with him during the tragic accident. For close to eight years, Kiptum worked hard in good health. And we know he was an athlete who had devoted his life to athletics. Hence, he had a whole life ahead of him to achieve incredible greatness with incredible legacy. Thank you. I may now wish to invite uh, the wife and the children for a short tribute of Kelvin Gibtu. If we can also have the children, Tuneza let appear our daughter Asmame Pale as she reads the eulogy. My dear love, I can't learn how to say goodbye to you with weak fingers and pain in my heart. It's unbelievable that today I've learned to, say, to stay with our beloved kids without you coming home again. I mourn my love. I've cried until no more. I'll miss you. I'll miss you and your love of my life forever until we meet again. But I promise to gather my strength for the sake of our children. I hope in the spirit world you'll inspire me to stand as a pillar to our children. I promise to make them smile in your honor. I'll make you happy all the time. We have been planning for a big day to tie our notes in colorful wedding ceremony in April 2024. But God plans our creator. I'll still, I'll still make my vows of love even in your rest. When your star was growing to be the brightest, God used you. You've been the best husband and father to our children. I'll clearly miss your company. We'll smile again. Till we meet again, my love. Dance with angels. Bye. Rest in peace. I will read on behalf of the children, Caleb and Precious. Dear Dad, we still cannot believe you have left us. We will always remember and love you. You've left a big void in our lives, and life will never be the same again. You will always be in our thoughts, prayers, and in our hearts. We love you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you so much.
invite a few international guests that we have uh, to also just make their tributes. Welcome, sir. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Your Excellency, the De Deputy President, Rigadi Gashagwa, the Prime CS, Honorable Musalia Mudavadi, the CSS present, PSS present, and all the protocols, let me leave it at that for now because of time. Your Excellency, the history of Kelvin Kiptum has been read, but allow me to add what came after that, after the breaking of the record in Chicago last year on the 8th of October. After this, Kelvin Kiptum came home here and we welcomed him back and he indicated to us that he was training with a plan of being the first human being to lower the time of two hours and 50, uh, 35 minutes to two, uh, below two hours. When we analyze the progression in both the marathon and the, full, the, the, the half marathon he ran and the full marathon that he broke the record in, all indications were that he was definitely going to achieve his dream of bringing the marathon below two hours. On the 11th of December, 2023, Kelvin Kiptum was voted as the world best male athlete of the year on long distance running. He was then awarded the winning trophy in Monaco by the president of World Athletics, who is with us here today, Lord Sebastian Cole. Last month, Your Excellency, we in Athletics Kenya selected a team of male and female marathoners to represent Kenya during the Paris Olympic Games in France later this year and his name was on top of that list. We are going to miss him in Paris. In our hope that we will be able to send a team to Paris, we wish to ask them, those who will be there in Paris, to train hard, run tactically as a team, and bring the win back to Kenya in honor of our departed Kelvin Kiptum. On the 6th of February this year, World Athletics, again under the leadership of the President of World Athletics, Lord Sebastian Coe, his time was officially ratified of 2 hours and 35 seconds as the new world record. It is unfortunate that five days later, we lost him. As we eulogize uh, Kelvin Kiptum and his coach, Carves Agisimana, let us also remember our legend, the late Henry Rono, who passed away on Thursday, 15th of February, 2024, while undergoing treatment at a hospital in Nairobi. He had just celebrated his 72nd birthday three days before meeting his death. We all remember Henry Rono for breaking four world records in 1978. 
And as Kelvin Kiptum is being laid to rest today, Henry Rono is also being prepared for his last journey on Wednesday next week. Let us all celebrate and be inspired to greatness by these performances that were as a result of hard work devoid of shortcuts. They ran well, they ran clean, and they didn't have any problems that we are seeing today. According to one of Kelvin Kitum's training mates, Kelvin's dream was to make the world know that there was a place for training called Chepkorio. Chepkorio is where we are standing here today. And that was his dream. He took care of all the nine training mates and pace setters in terms of food, transport, accommodation, and training gear. All these were besides his coach, his family, and school children's fees within the village. He was a real superstar whose career was on a spectacular upward trajectory. To keep the memory of Kelvin Kiptum alive and support his family and community, Golazo is launching the Kelvin Kiptum Foundation. And I'm sure the CEO of Golazo will come and uh, talk about that a little bit later. And the fund will predominantly provide continued financial support for education and infrastructure. Your Excellency, as we continue, we in Athletics Kenya, we are going to support this program fully. And we intend to discuss this with the family of Kelvin, Kelvin Kiptum, the county government of Elgeyo Marakwet, and other partners like Nike to see that all pending payments due to Kelvin Kiptum are paid to this foundation. I would also want to request the governor of Elgeyo Marakwet County, who is here with us today, to consider employing the wife of Kelvin Kiptum with the county within the county so that the remains she remains here or near the family as she takes care of their young children whom we have seen here. We also recommend a sporting facility be considered here in Chepkorio as by the Kelvin's wish to support the new talents in line with the Talanta Hela program. And we are ready to support that as well. As part of athletics development, Your Excellency, we have continued to educate the athletes who are here with us on financial management, prudent investments, signing of contracts, retirement, because they, they retired at a very early age, and it's important that they understand the, or the, the, the things that they expect to be involved when they retire at that early age. And above all, the doping problem. We have done that, and we continue doing this. Allow me, Your Excellency, to thank you most sincerely for supporting us in the fight of these doping matters by releasing $5 million every year for five years to fight and to continue with this program. The process is smoothly going on, and we are just about to finish one year since we started that problem. Or that program. Allow me also, Your Excellency, to thank the President of World Athletics, Lord Sebastian Coe, 
for supporting this program through Athletics Intelligence Unit. And when he came here last year, you remember, Your Excellency, he promised, and that has gone on well, and we are on course. We have also rolled out, Your Excellency, as part of the program to support the athletes, a pension scheme under the endowment fund to support mainly our retired athletes. The support from our Ministry of Sports and Corporates is highly appreciated because these are the people who have supported that program. The other program, Your Excellency, that we are undertaking at the moment, which um, I've started, is to join is to join the affordable housing problem uh, program. This program, Your Excellency, you started it yourself, and the athletes continue to join. We already have just over 100 that have already signed in the affordable housing program, and it is going on very well. We want to thank you for this, and of course, following what you have done for this family, we have seen a beautiful house that has just come out the other day and is ready for occupation by the family of Kelvin Kiptum. Your Excellency, thank you so much for doing this. The other program, Your Excellency, that we are engaged in is the environmental awareness and sustainability. Athletics Kenya was the first national federation to join this and to join World Athletics in signing the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, otherwise called the Sports for Climate Action, in August 2021. So far, we have been joined by other partners from, uh, from our, part, our partners from United Nations Environment Program and Stockholm Environment Institute stationed in Kigiri, Nairobi. In the development of, development of this program, we have installed 17 air quality sensors within Africa. Seven of these are in Kenya. And the last one, Your Excellency, that we installed last month was at St. Patrick's Iten School here in Iten. St. Patrick's School is one of the schools that has contributed a lot in the development of sports in, in Kenya and in the world. And therefore, we wanted to do this so that the students can breathe clean air and learn environmental issues. Next, that we will be going to do is to, in, the, in terms of school program, is Maseno. Because we understand Maseno is one of the oldest schools in this country. And we want to extend that to that particular place. We have also attended and been invited during the COP27 in Sham al-Sheikh in Egypt to go and present our report there. And we did it. Last year, we also attended the COP28 Conference of Parties in Dubai, and we have also uh, uh, attended that. This is, this is um, a new program, and we want to thank World Athletics for allowing us to do that, because we signed it on their behalf. Uh, last week, we discussed with World Health Organization on how best we can continue with that program and support this um, uh, initiative that we have continued with. Your Excellency, El Gayo Maraquet County is the home of champions. And they have proven that, that name so. They have actually proven that they are the home of champions. Because when you look at the number of athletes that have come from El Gayo Maraquet, they are, they are, I think, more than any other county that, has, that have gone to produce world beaters. 
And therefore, in 2019, World Athletics started a heritage recognition of centers that have, been, that have immensely contributed to the development of athletics in the world. Through our efforts in Athletics Kenya, we presented a report to World Athletics on the achievements and the contributions of El Cayo Maracuet County, and Iten was one of those centers awarded a heritage plaque for this reason. Congratulations, El Cayo Maracuet County. Your Excellency, sir, I know we have made some requests in the past to support our athletes. We are most grateful, sir, for always remembering us in whatever we request. We will not get tired, Your Excellency, making further requests as the country of the world of the world, uh, as, the country, as the country continues to develop, just like any other part of the world. For today, without going into individual details, I've had the bishop talk about a request to allow them to have uh, security, to allow them to have a car, and to allow them to have all that they need to be safe in whatever they are doing. And I would want to join the bishop by requesting you, Your Excellency, that we consider that these athletes actually go to that extent. Allow me on behalf of the athletes also to humbly request you that honorable members of parliament that we put, we put up legislations that fully takes care of their heroes, of these heroes, now and in the future. If it is legislated well, I believe that a lot of things will be taken care of. And we are ready, Your Excellency, to participate in the drafting of that legislation so that we can take care of these athletes in a better manner. Instead of going into other details to say we would like this, we would like that, and so forth and so on. And that will include, for example, that these, the athletes who have gone to school and they have gone to the university and they have graduated and they are not employed be considered for employment in government so that they have something to do. As I said, Your Excellency, uh, athletes, uh, athletes retire at a very early age. The athletes who go beyond 40 in athletics are very, very few. Currently, I think we have got only two. The rest have retired at 30, 32, 35, 38. And so between 40, and if God gives them time until they are over 100, uh, they, they have got a lot of time in between here. And so if they get something to do, they'll be able to take care of their, family, of their families. And I think I would like to end there for now, Your Excellency. I want to thank you once again for always taking care of us, for always being involved in our programs, and for always uh, watching on what we are doing. As I conclude, Your, uh, Your, Your Excellency, we have got some visitors here today and um, uh, I would like to maybe introduce those who are here. I should have done that early, but I, can, I still have to do it so that because they have come all the way. The first I would like to introduce, of course, and we, he will be coming later on to give a few remarks, is Lord Sebastian Ko, who came all the way from Monaco, and he is here with us. Thank you very much. He came with uh, Fami Fox, who also works in World Athletics. Then we have uh, a team from Nike, United States. We have the Vice President of Nike, Brett Holst, who is here with us. We also have Robert Lotwis, who is here with us. And we have Simon Bairu from Nike, but he represents Europe, European, uh, 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 the European continent. And he is also here with us.
Karibu sana. We also have the Tanzania. There's a team from Tanzania. I hope you are seated somewhere. You are there. Thank you very much. We have got we have got Advocate Jackson Daweka, who is the Secretary General from Tanzania. We have got Gabriel Gerald Gay, who is also a marathoner, and he ran with Kelvin Kiptum from Tanzania. We have got Basil Julia Sule from Tanzania. We have got Quill Meli. Amede Shio and Bernard Gay, all from Tanzania. Welcome. Karibu sana. Tunashukuru. From Ethiopia, we have got the Vice President of the Federation called Kaseneon uh, Abera Wandonjo. I hope you are here. And then we have got um, the we have got um, uh, uh, quite a number of others who are, who are with us here. And allow me, Your Excellency, to call only two, um, sorry, three, to take only two minutes to make their remarks as, and, they, and, they, and they leave here. Um, and the first one is Bob Vabek from Colazo. Please, if you can come and make your remarks. Two minutes, please. A legend. That's what you are, dear Kiptum. A true running legend. Dear Kiptum, you were a kind, humble, and charismatic young man who left a great impression on anyone you met. You were ambitious, disciplined, and focused with a huge dream of shattering world records. Your promise as an athlete caring and full of hope. The Chicago Marathon, world's record-breaking performance, was just the beginning. And even breaking the two-hour barrier was an intermediate step in your mindset. But your ambition was not limited to personal success. As your star started to shine brightly, you also wanted to light the lamp for others. Your passion and dedication to providing education for young and needy children without anybody knowing was just one example. A true testament that you were also an exceptional human being. Dear Kip Tum, I will remember you as a loyal friend who became part of our family in 2017. What a journey in just seven years. Your smile, those light-hearted moments, and our time spent together with the family in Shepkorio will continue to hold a special place in my heart. As we bid your farewell, know that we will deeply miss you, and we will never forget you. Our families are one. May you rest in eternal peace. Thank you, Bob. May I now call upon Brett Holst, the Vice President of Nike, to come and give his uh, brief remarks before we continue. Good afternoon. On behalf of Nike, I would like to thank you for the opportunity for us to be here today and to offer our condolences 
to all those in mourning for the tragic loss of Calvin Kiptum. At only 24 years of age, Calvin Kiptum was a generational athlete. In our short time together, Calvin became an immediate and impactful member of the Nike family, bettering the sport and our Nike brand forever. He taught us that equal parts humility and hard work were the cornerstones of greatness, attributes that he will always be recognized for and remembered by. I'll never forget the chills he gave me as he crossed the finish line, setting the world record at the Chicago Marathon. And I quote, I have still yet to feel pain in any marathon. To say Calvin Kipton was a special athlete would be an understatement. Today is a moment of both remembrance and celebrate. And yet we believe Kelvin would have his eyes set on the future, leading us from the front, which was his signature race tactic. And so there too, our focus will remain. Nike will continue to support what we know mattered most to Kelvin, to his family, to the sport of running, to the community that is here today, and to the future generations of athletes who Kelvin's legacy will inspire every day. Once again, our condolences to the family, to the loved ones, the teammates, the friends, and every one of us here today who knew that when we were with Kelvin Kiptum, we were in the presence of greatness. On behalf of Nike, we wish you strength and peace. And finally, our good friend, our colleague from Monaco, the World Athletics President, Lord Sebastian Coe, to come and give his remarks. And that will end our program from Athletics Kenya. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Kiptum family, the President of Athletics Kenya, my good friend Jackson Tue, the athletic family from Kenya and beyond, distinguished guests. That a young life ends so soon and in such a devastating way is and of itself enough cause to grieve. That a young life that had in so few years scaled the highest peaks of athletics achievement is prevented from even greater exploits is a cause of intense sadness. It is also on this one of the saddest days in the history of this great country legitimate permission to celebrate an extraordinary young man. But it is a celebration suffused in frustration. Frustration because Kelvin would have written more epic chapters in the lustrous history of Kenyan and world athletics. This I know. There can be few words from me today that can ease the pain and sense of loss. For Kelvin's family, his fellow athletes, the legion of friends from within and beyond athletics, many of whom are gathered here today, the Kenyan Athletics Federation, and of course the people of Kenya. But I can speak on behalf of the entire World Athletics family. Kelvin, you will be missed. Our grief and sadness will take time to dissipate. Rest assured, your achievements are treasured, indelible, and secure in the annals of our history and never ever 
forgotten. May you rest in peace. Thank you. Next, Your Excellency, I'd like to invite the President of the National Olympics Committee, Mr. Paul Terrigat, to come and make his remarks. Mr. Paul Terrigat is one who needs very little introduction, both to Kenyans and to the international world, given that he carried the Kenyan flag high for many years in the marathon field. Welcome, Paul. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and the head of the uh, members of uh, head of KDF. Deputy President, all protocols observed, distinguished guests, uh, good morning or afternoon. First of all, I want to say this. We are standing here today because of the pain that we are going through. Kevin was one of the very unique at least that we just had. I want to tell you this, that today, when we wake up, when we, uh, we got this information of Kevin that has left us, it was such a, not really something that I would believe myself that it has really happened. But I want to say this, it is an history that it has never happened before. I never I went into, personally I went into denial mode for so long, and even today I still believe that uh, if Kevin was still around, the only thing that maybe we would be one maybe to see is the history we was going to make going forward. We all know one thing, that sports is one of its own that is able to bring us all together uh, as a nation. I only want maybe to echo what the general has just said, that our sportsmen and women need more of support to be able to enjoy and, sub and explore more of their talents. Remember that at this time as we are heading to the Olympic Games in Paris, the only thing, and I'm requesting our sportsmen that they are going to be part and parcel of this team, that the only tribute we are going to give to our brother, our champion, our legend, Keep to him is to make sure that uh, we go for, when we go to Paris, every medal that uh, we will be participating in, we make sure we get in his honor, we bring those medals. <clears throat> to the family of Keep to him, the father, his wife and the children, we, all, we will be standing with you. We know what you are going through is such a painful moment, but I want to assure you that we are all together in this. As Olympic movement, especially National Olympic Committee, we are together. There are so many people in terms of even the Olympic movement. President Dr. Thomas Pa has joined in to pay his condolences to you all of you, to convey his condolences to you all, especially to the family, because 
was kept to mastani in a very short time. Has really touched each and everyone across the world. So in this regards, I want to say, Paul to the family, and I'm very proud that the old government is here to pay the last respect to this young gentleman that has left us. As we pay the last respect today for him, we say, may God bless you and rest in peace. Keep tuned. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Turgut. Allow me to now welcome some athletes who are going to speak on behalf of uh, their colleagues in the athletic space. And I'll call Gabriel Giai from Tanzania. Gabriel was second to Kelvin Kiptum in the Valencia Marathon 2022. But I'll also request that they, he be flanked by other athletes. From Kenya, we have Julia Siego. Uh, who we all know, former Javelin World Champ. We have uh, Faith Kipiegon, uh, David Rudisha, and Mary Mora. If they can all just come to the platform and make their tributes, starting with Gabriel Giai from Tanzania as we move on with the program. Karibuni. Tuwapigia makofi tafadhali wakija. Asanteni. Mheshimiwa Rais wa Kenya William Ruto jukwaa kuu viongozi wote uh, familia ya Kelvin Kiptum familia ya Riadha Kenya viongozi na wageni mbalimbali waliotoka sehemu mbalimbali duniani kwa majina naitwa Gabriel Gai nimetokea Tanzania ni mkimbiaji uh, niliyepata wakati wa kukimbia na Kelvin Kiptum Nilikimbia naye Valencia Marathon ambaye ilikuwa marathon yake ya kwanza. Uh, ali siku ya hiyo uh, hiyo siku mimi nilikuwa mshindi wa pili kwenye Valencia Marathon ye akishinda. Nilipata wakati wa kuwa naye karibu sana, akawa rafiki yangu sana. Tumekuja hapa uh, binafsi uh, kutoa pole kwa familia hii na kwa niaba ya wanariadha wote Tanzania ni msiba mkubwa ambao umetusikitisha na umetupa wakati mgumu sisi kama familia wa kimbiaji kutoka Tanzania na tumekuja kuungana pamoja na wakimbiaji wa hapa Kenya familia na wananchi wote ni seme tu kwamba ni msiba wetu sote tuendelee kumwombea huko aliko aendelee kupunzika kwa amani na tunaendelea kutoa pole nyingi kwa familia waendelee kuwa na moyo wa subira kwa wakati huu mgumu waliokutana nao Mungu awatangulie na tuendelee kushirikiana kwa pamoja asanteni sana Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Rigadi Kashakwa, the widow, all protocols of SAP. First, uh, thank you, uh, Your Excellency, for this uh, time to speak before you on behalf of the athletes and to pass a message of condolences to the family of Kelvin Kiptum. We say sorry. We were all affected, and we are we are still affected by the demise of Kelvin Giftum. Your Excellency, we want to say thank you for the support you've shown us, you've shown this family, especially the construction of the new house. I was privileged yesterday to visit the place, and it is a beautiful house. Thank you, Mr. President. To all mourners, we knew Kiptum for a very short time, 
But within that period, he had done amazing. A world record holder who never even stay or live to enjoy his exploits. It's so sad. To Athletics Kenya, Poleni Sana, we are crying together. To Lord Sebastian Go, the World Athletics President, this must have been a difficult record for you because it was barely a week that you ratified that record and the older is no longer with us. Paul Lesana, we say sorry to you, sir. Mr. President, on behalf of these athletes, they have told me in respect to Kelvin Kiptum in this area, because he has dreams of supporting all the talents in this place, there was no facility and it was read by the family that he used to walk barefoot just to go and train in Eldred where he could get a place to train because we don't have a place here. And for his honor, please, Mr. President, we, we request that you start a project here, a training facility to honor him and name after him. <laughs> Mr. President, these athletes are requesting just a little recognition and support. The place where we are in is a place of champions, but we do not have a training facility at all. Across the North Rift, the three counties calling themselves in pride of our athletes, unfortunately there is no training facility that can be used by our athletes. I want to ask the three governors, please unite your minds. You can even start by having one facility for these athletes to train in. That is very little to ask. Again, Mr. President, for these world record holders, please, we request to be given even security. The loss we have encountered in Kiptum is huge. It's so huge to the country and the world. But if he had, if he had security at that time, or a driver, we, we, we don't know the life of someone, but maybe we could have saved him. We have not many world record holders in this country, but let's support them to keep them that security and a driver. It, is, it doesn't cost much for our country, because the pride that the athletes bring to this country is much bigger. For those few remarks, Mr. President, thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samori Ruto, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigati Gachagua, um, all protocol of staff, all mourners, good afternoon. Uh, I don't have much to say. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Faith Kibiegun. Um, Yego, I've said it all. Mine is just to say, rest in peace, keep tomb. Till we meet again, we will miss you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give them a hand as they're exiting. And just to recognize a legend, a father, and a mentor in the athletics world that we have in our midst, Kipchoge Keino, wherever you are, if you can just stand up so that we can appreciate you. Uh, Kipchoge Keino, mahali ulipo tafadhali. Kamuneza smama tu, yuko pale. This is somebody who has been in the marathon world for a long, long time. Just, just to recognize you. Um, okay, I... He wants to speak maybe we can just give him a, a minute just very briefly okay oh, we shall proceed let's proceed uh, at this point we now want to move to the leaders who are present and allow me to now invite the area member of parliament honorable Gideon Kimayo who will recognize the leaders who are present 
and then also a call on the governor after you finish recognizing Tupigi Makofi Pia Kija, Honorable Gideon Kimayo. Your Excellency the President, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Mushimiwa Wasiri Mku, Biongosi Wote, Kiongoswa na Governor Wetu, Familia ya Mwandasake Kiptum, na Biongosi Wote, the family of the athletics, athletics in Kenya, na Waumbolesachi Wote. Good afternoon. Kwa majina mimi naitwa Gideon Kimayo, mbunge wa sehemu hii Kenya South Constituency. Your Excellency, kwanza kabisa tusema asante kwa kupata nafasi ya kuja kuombolesa na sisi. Ya pili pia tusema asante kwa kusimama na familia ya Mwendasake Kiptum. Asante kwa ile nyumba mmchengea asante pia kwa ile nyumba mmchengea wasasi na pia asante kwa kusimamia karama ya masishi tunasema asante kwa familia ya Kiptum mamake msasi baba msasi bibi yake na watoto wake Tunasema pole. Kilen mutio and family ni baga chip kongen. Akchami tukul ni wachep samu. Kwa kupotesa nduku wetu. Shuja wetu kiptum. Kwa niaba yangu na familia yangu. Na kwa niaba ya wakachi wote. Wakeyo South Constituency. Tunasema pole. Ndugu yangu kiptu mambaya metuacha Mimi tulijua na vizuri Wakati ule mimi nilichaguliwa kama mbunge wa Keyo South Nilita wakimbiachi wote kwa ofisi yangu Na tulikaa chini pale Tukasungumsia maneno ya wanariada wetu Na tukaunda kamati Ambayo ilikuwa inaangalia maneno ya wanariadha nduku yetu kiptuma ambaye ametuacha alikuwa mmoja wao na tulikuwa tumaansa kupanga chinsi ambayo tutaangalia maslahi ya wanariadha wetu tulipokutana mheshimiwa rais au wanariadha ambao wamekaa hapa walinituma kwa ofisi ya sports secretary ababu na mwamba na mimi nilienda kwake tukaongea na yeye pamoja na PS uh, Tum na kuna yale ambao walikuwa wanasungumzia wasaidiwe Mwisho huu wa pili our uh, sports secretary uh, Ababu was supposed to be in our county alikuwa amepanga akuja asungumze nao lakini kwa bahati mbaya tukapoteza ndugu yetu Mwishimu wa Rais Hapa Keyo South Tumetoa Wanariadha wengi Ambao mafunja rekodi sa dunia Nikiangalia pale Kuna komen Ndugu yetu ambao alifunja rekodi kitambo Na wengine wao Mwishimu wa Rais Hapa ndio Vivian Chiri wa tametoka Kutoka haba na kwa gina Vivian Ni kama Vivian yuko pale Kutoka haba mbaka kwa gina Vivian ni kama kilomita tano Tuko na ndugu yetu Kamoror Ambaye ni jirani yake Kiptum Kwa kina Kiptum na kwa kina Kelvin Ni kama 300 meters Wanatoka karibu sana Tuko na wengine Kama mwishimua uh, Boit kutoka Kabiumit Wakitambo Na wengine wengi Ombi langu rais. Au wanariadha wanalia kwamba serikali kwa mara mingi awachaweza kuwasaidia. Ombi lao ni kwamba kiptuma alikuwa nakimbia hapa. 
wanaomba sana hapa kujengwe stadium iitwe Kelvin Kiptum Stadium ndio waweze kumkumbuka ndugu yetu aliyelala ambaye ni shujaa wetu kwa unyenyekevu rais tunaomba kupitia kwa ile sports fan ikiwezekana tupate hiyo stadium tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu tulivyozungumza na ndugu yetu wasiri eh, na mwamba nilimwambia wengi yao wanaokimbia hawana mahali pa kukaa sana sana wanaenda kukimbia wanarudi nyumbani wanafanya ile kazi ya nyumbani ingewezekana tupate kama shule ambayo hao wana riadha wana, wanakaa na nikaambia uh, wasiri wetu tukue na sports academy kutoka primary mpaka secondary ndio ichunge wale wadogo pia rais nikamwomba ndugu yetu wasiri nikamwambia wasiri kiwezekana tunapoangalia maneno ya tivet tukue pia na tivet ambayo wale wamemaliza form 4 wanaweza kukaa hapo na kutrain sasa ile wengine wanasoma Mheshimiwa rais tunapo ombolesa ndugu yetu ambaye ametuacha familia hii ya ndugu yetu Kiptum walikuwa maansa kuangalia familia yao ikibadilika kwa sababu walikuwa wanajua Kiptum ndio sasa amekuwa star kwao ndugu yetu Kiptum ametoka kwenye familia ya chini lakini kupitia kukimbia kwake tulikuwa tunajua hiyo familia ingengaa tunakuomba mheshimiwa rais mchane asanat ambaye ni bibi yake Kiptum ikiwezekana rais tumtafutie kasi kwa serikali kuu na head of public service alikuja hapa kufariji na familia na tukamwambia akasema ataangalia maneno pia rais kwa hiyo familia ndio itupate mtu wa kushughulikia familia ingine ile yote tuko na ndugu yetu ambaye alikuwa anasoma yolo hapa tuko na profesa Kimurto Profesa Kimurto ni wa familia hiyo Huyu profesa mheshimiwa rais akiweza kupatiwa kasi kama CEO mahali atachunga hiyo familia yote La mwisho rais mheshimiwa rais Jamii hii ya hapa mahali tumesimama hapa inaitwa Chipkorio Chipkorio ward mahali kituma ametoka ni ngambo hiyo ni kaptara kwa ward hiyo jamii yote walikuwa maanza kusherekea wakisema ndio huyo tuko na world record holder ndugu yetu Kiptum walikuwa maanza kuangalia vile maisha ya watu wa hiyo jamii ingebadilika rais kama unaweza kama itawezekana uweze kuwapangusia machosi watu wa hii jamii ya Chepkorio na Chepsamu mimi naomba rais sehemu hii yetu mahali Kiptum ametoka Amna hata familia moja iko na maji. Ikiwezekana rais ndio waweze kukumbuka ndugu yao Kiptum waweze kupata machi ya kutengeneza damu yetu hapa ambayo inaitwa Chepsamu na ingine hapa chini ambayo inaitwa Chepkoria Water Supply ndio jamii yote waweze kukumbuka ndugu yao marehemu Kiptum. Pia mheshimiwa rais ile barabara tumepitia kutoka pale kwa Lami mpaka hapa kwa hospitali hiyo barabara hapa mahali tumekaa Chepkorio ni headquarters ya sub county yetu ya Kenya South amna Lami tukipata Lami kidogo tutashukuru ya mwisho kabisa hapa mahali tuko pia maneno ya stima bado kwa chini ndio hao wananchi waweze pia kukumbuka nduku yetu Kiptum wakipata stima tutasema asante kwa sababu tumekuja kuombolesa ndugu yetu siwezi sema mengi kupita hapo wacha nitambue wale wabunge ambao wako hapa alafu wale tu wetu wawili watatu watasungumza wale wabunge wa kutoka Elgeyo Marakwet naomba njoo hapa mbele muweze kuombolesa ndugu yetu wacha nimuite mheshimiwa Kipsanai kutoka Kenya North karibu mheshimiwa
Asante sana. Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Mheshimiwa Naibu wa Rais na viongozi wote na waombolezaji. God is good and all the time. Mimi vile vile ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kusema pole sana kwa familia kwa kumpoteza huyu ndugu yetu. Na ningependa tu kusema kwamba tutimize ama tutilie mkazo ile maneno ambayo imesemwa na muhubiri kwamba tumtegemee Mungu kila wakati. Tunajua ndugu yetu amefariki akiwa na umri mdogo sana lakini cha Mungu ni mengi. Na ningependa kumwambia mjane na wazazi mtegemee Mungu na Mungu atazidi kuwashikilia mkono. Ya pili ni kusema shukrani kubwa sana kwa Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya kwa kusimama na familia. Mheshimiwa Rais ulipokubali sherehe hii kwa state function, hiyo ni heshima kubwa sana kwa sisi na familia and we will be forever grateful. Tunashukuru kwa hayo. Kwa sababu leo si maneno mengi ya kuzungumza, ningependa tu kusambia kanisa asanti. The special prayer ambaye mmemwambia wakimbiaji wetu ni jambo ambaye imenuguza sana. Tumepoteza wakimbiaji wengi at a very young age. Marehemu Wanjiru, ule mkimbiaji mwingine ambaye alifariki akiwa road accident kule na wengi tunasema ni pole. Last, Your Excellency, you are a good man. You, are, you have demonstrated your generosity beyond borders by you standing and supporting the former prime minister to be a candidate of AU is something that is worth to be celebrated <laughs> to our competitors on the other side you have seen the president has led and Raila wanted to be president of Kenya but the president William Ruto has also ensured that he is going to be not only to be president of Kenya but a leader in Africa you wanted him to be president of Kenya William Ruto is pushing him to be a leader of Africa Asante sana na Mungu awabariki Your Excellency Your Excellency welcome to our county on behalf of the people of Marakwet West I wish to convey my deepest condolences to the family of Kiptum to say me pole sana this death is unfortunate. If there was a way we would appeal to God to resurrect this man, we would have appealed. But we accept that God has taken this man and may his soul rest in eternal peace. Asante ni sana na mungu wabariki. Your Excellency, the President, the, P the Deputy President, Prime Cabinet Secretary, with all protocol observed, Wanainji, waombolezaji wote, good afternoon. Hamjambo, sina mambo mengi pia, leo ni siku ya uzuni sana katika hii county yetu ya Elgeo Marakwet County. Kwa sababu kiptum alikuwa mudogo na tulimtegemea sana kiptum kuwa bado ataloa hiyo time ya eh, marathon. Lakini wanariada eh, wetu tunawategemea sana. Kamworor tunakutegemea katika Olympic yenye inakuja tunajua hiyo hiyo time you are also able to bring it under 2 hours tunakutegemea tunakuombea when you run run for Kevin Kiptum I wish you all the best Mheshimiwa Rais hapa tuliko vile eh, Mheshimiwa Songo amesema ni Chepkori Award pale kaptarako hadi jana wamekuwa pia wakikutarajia Kuna mashule mawili inaitwa Chef Samo Primary na Chef Samo Secondary School. Wanahitaji mkono kidogo. Kwa sababu umefika hapa na kwa sababu Kevin alikuwa anatoka pale utawasaidia tu kitu kidogo. Wako na shida mingi sana. Pia Kapkenda Girls na Kapkenda Primary. Hizo ni mashule ya nyumbani ya Kevin kabisa. President consider hawa vile umesaidia kuptega hapa na kitu kidogo pia na hawa pate kitu kidogo wa mkumbukie Kevin Mheshimiwa Rais ninataka kusema hivi Hii uwanja ambayo unaiona hapa 
ni ambaye hao athletes wanakimbilia hata wewe ukitembea unaangalia chini usije ukaanguka tunaomba hii ni kazi ndogo tukiweza level hii uwanja vizuri ikuwe portal free na tuna agree wote wana riadha wote kutoka Nandi kutoka Wazingishu na sehemu zingine wana train Elgeo Marakwet County hatuna uwanja hata mmoja Elgeo Marakwet County ambaye na accommodate hawa vizuri Atutaki hata ijengo ikuwe kubwa sana ukilevo hapa ilevoliwe ile cap site kuna ingine ya cap charap na zile mauanja ndogo ndogo ndio tuendelee kupata bendera ya Kenya ipae juu sana kimataifa mheshimiwa rais mwisho mheshimiwa rais ni kushukuru wewe umefanya kazi na tunakuaminia sana ulipotuambia vumilieni kwa sababu Roma haijajengwa na siku moja tulivumilia Mheshimiwa Rais tunaona kazi yako inaanza kuonekana dola vile ilianza kuteremka sisi tumeshukuru sana it is a sign of better things to come and we will support you honorable rice we will support you in whatever you do we will be behind you in parliament whatever you want us to pass for you we will be always there for you otherwise poleni sana familia na wa athletes wetu tunawapenda tunawaenzi and they requested yesterday at the requiem mass that they be given diplomatic passports so that whenever they are moving out of the country they always face numerous challenges on rise these athletes are the only people who make our flag to be flown and our national anthem to be sung internationally mheshimiwa rais wakipata hiyo diplomatic passport maneno yao itakuwa mzuri kwa hayo mengi mimi nataka kusema tunawapenda wanariadha wetu na tunawatambua. Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki asante. Asante mama county. Sasa waja ni waite wabunge wote ambao wanatoka uh, nje ya Elgeo Marakwet. Uh, Tafadhalini njoo tumuseme jina ndio wapeane pole kwa taka moja. Wabunge wote ambao wametoka simu singine wanapokuja mheshimiwa rais ni ruhusu tu nitambue MCS ambao wako hapa MCS tafadhali tusimame MCS tusimame mheshimiwa rais hapa mahali tuko inaitwa Chipkorio Ward MCA anaitwa mheshimiwa Kimeli uh, na MCA upande ile ingine anaitwa mheshimiwa bwana Leng na tunataka kusema asante kwa hao MCA wawili kwa sababu wakati uh, maremu walipata Uh, ajali au ndio walikuwa wa kwanza kufika pale mahali ajali ilifanyika tunasema asante basi wacha niwapatie wajumbe wenzangu waseme jina na pole asante karibu your excellency dr william samoe ruto and your government mimi ninaitwa professor phyllis barto mjumbe kutoka moiben your excellency uh, Mama wa Kiptum anatoka Moiben tulisoma na yeye na hata hiyo shule Kipchawat Primary yenye Kiptum alisoma mimi nilikuwa alumni wa hiyo shule so kwa niaba ya watu wa Moiben tumekuja kusema pole and to our athletes poleni sana family ya Kiptum poleni sana Your Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya Your Excellency the Deputy President of Republic of Kenya uh, all leaders familia ya Kiptum na watu wote wa Elgeo Marakwet na Keio South mimi naitwa Veronica Maina nilikuwa katibu mkuu wa chama cha UDA na tumekuja hapa leo nimetoka Muranga County kuleta rabirabi zetu kwa familia na watu wa Elgeo Marakwet ukweli ni kwamba kifo cha kijana kama Kiptum ambaye alikuwa shujaa katika athletics na marathon kinahuzunisha sana lakini tunawaombea we are thinking about you we are praying for grace to avail for the widow and the children god is on your side and has not left you may the rich legacy of this great general live on and to the athletes don't give up god is on your side and he will grant you the grace 
Keep on the race because God is on your side. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, the President, all protocol of SAP, the family of Kiptum, Kapshepkiyan, Abdekongen Togoli, I'm a village actually from here. Your Excellency, that was my nursery school. I was born here, Margaret Kamar. Pole, Abdekongen, Pole, Pole, Sana, Mama. We lost a giant in the making. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. Your Excellency, lastly, the request that has been made, I want to support Athletics Kenya. I will practice a day. Go get good. Go need a new athletes. Getting a lot of young athletes from this place where I'm coming. If you look at the place, the place the media for your small center. Neglect go by each year. It will be near it every day. The man when digital on it, you are going France. Like you are a charibu. So you go to everything Jehovah. Your excellence. I'm going to get a chance. I go go go. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get Please let that be fulfilled. God bless. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, all protocols established. Familia, your Kiptum, now all the monas. Monas, if you were. My name is Cynthia Muge, the Nandi County Woman Rep. To make a job a leo, not to celebrate a life, but to mourn a life that has been snatched, your Kiptum. To Nasema Poleni Sana, Your Excellency, how what to a Mambo Mengi. Ya kwamba the hero should be protected. Your Excellency, Mimi kama mbunge pale National Assembly, I have already done a legislative proposal ya kuamend the Kenya Heroes Act of 2014. Ndo yueze kueka yu maneno ndani, kazi yako yueze kukua rahisi, hawa watu waeze kupatua protection. Tunasema pole sana na asante for demonstrating the housing project is workable and it's actually workable in the shortest time possible. The house of the late Kiptum, Ingawa ilikuja kwa Batimbaya, is a clear demonstration that the housing project has taken off na itaeza kutupatia mambo mazuru Kenya yetu. Poleni sana, may the good Lord bless you. Your Excellency, the President, and all protocols observed, my name is Abraham Kirwa, Mbunge wa Mosop. Tumekuja kusema poli. The family of Kiptum, the relatives, to Mese Mapoli. Watu wa meongea mambo mingi, na rice, to Mese Masante, kwa sabu, umetenda mingi towards athletics. Siku ingine, tutongea mambo mingine, lakini tumekuja kusea Mapoli siku ya leo. Poleni na mungu afariji. Your Excellency, the President, the Deputy President, na waambole zaji uote, kwa majina mime na ito wa Nelson Koech. Mimi ni mbunge wa Kule Belgut, uh, Kericho County. Nimekuja kusema pole kwa kupoteza ndugu yetu Kiptum. Nataka tu ni, ni um, to respond on uh, AK's request by left and general to way that will support legislation, especially that is geared towards promoting athletes and athletics in Kenya. But we also want to ask you that we professionalize athletics and athletics management in Kenya so that we make sure that our athletes, because these are the people who hoist our flag internationally, they are well catered for and well taken for care for, and there are so many legislation in Parliament that is geared towards that and we will support it to make sure that we do not in future come here and we find our athletes lamenting. We want you to live comfortably, we want you to be our heroes, we want you to be a, live a better life, and we will do it because this administration, William Luther's administration, in his manifesto, has made it sure that we are going to do that. We will support you and Paul Esana, our brother. We name you to get to you. Mashimwa Rais, Mashimwa Naibu Rais, Mashimwa Cabinet Secretary, Yongosi Ambayo Wako Hapa, Wachungaji, Watu Ya Chepkorio, God is good, and all the time, Yangu Yatakuwa Machache, Yangu Nikukutija Kuleta Pole Sangu, Na Familia Yangu, Kwa Familia Hi, Uyumze, Mi Namujua Nikuwa Nanuang Ombe Nai Hapa, Chepkorio, 
kwa sababu mimi ni mwenyeji hapa ni next, next hapa wa county hii mimi nasema yale yote yamesemwa na viongozi wetu hawa viong, hawa vijana ambao wanafanyia si kazi ya kukimbia upande wa ngambo wanatuletea vitu mingi sana majina makubwa pesa za kigeni naibu mheshimiwa rais yale yote yamesemwa hapa tukiwa wabunge ya kusaidia hawa wawe na security ya kutosha sababu yu kijana pengine hata isipokuwa ni maneno ya Mwenyezi Mungu kama angekuwa na mtu ya kumwangalia mzuri pengine haya hayangetokea lakini naibu mheshimiwa rais saidia hawa mtoto ya huyu kijana na mama huyu vile yamesemwa hapa na si tuko pamoja ya mwisho mheshimiwa rais tunakuunga mkono kwa yale bidii unafanya ya ku yauza inchi hii na bidii ambayo ya kusema watu watoe ushuru nimeona viongozi wengine hapa bila siasa wanasema tunataka hii tunataka hii hii yote hawezi patikana bila kutoa ushuru we ni kiongozi wa kwanza kusaidia watu wa Kenya au kubadilisha nchi hii watu watoe ushuru ndio hii Kenya iendelee mbele kwa hayo machache mheshimiwa rais tuko pamoja na tuko pamoja na hii familia asandeni sana na Mungu awabariki ada sana wanaina <coughs> mheshimiwa rais wetu mheshimiwa naibu wa rais kanisa letu takatifu familia ya ndugu yetu Kiptum ndugu zangu wakimbiaji na kila mtu ambaye amekuja hapa leo kusindikisha huyu kijana wetu Kiptum kwa niaba yangu kwa niaba ya familia yangu kwa niaba ya marafiki wengi mimi tumekuja hapa kusema pole kwa sababu tumepoteza Kiptum akiwa mchanga sana mimi rais nataka nikushukuru sana hawa wakimbiaji walikuwa nakimbia na hakuna mtu alikuwa anatambua lakini sikuisi at least wakikimbia wanatambulika wanakuja kwa ile state house wanawakaribisha na inaonekana ni heshima na pia inaonekana kwa dunia msima tunawaheshimu lakini rais nataka ufanye tu kasi moja peke yake unajua hawa wakimbiaji pia ni watoto wetu na ni watoto wako nataka uchukue nafasi uketi na wao kuna mambo mengi utawaongelesha utawa guide ili tusiwe na hasara maana unajua rais hata mimi nilipata pesa nikiwa mdogo na mimi najua hasara ya pesa tukiwa wadogo so chukua nafasi uketi na wao ili mambo mengi itatengenezwa asante sana Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya William Samoi Ruto Naibu wa Rais Rigiji Chief Minister o protocols observed bila kusahau familia ya mwenda zake kitaa Hamjambo mimi naitwa Ngakuya Ngakuya ni mbunge kutoka Nairobi na nimekuja kuleta labirami zangu kutoka Nairobi nimetoka sehemu inaitwa Embakas North na kwa niamba ya Nairobi kwa jumla pia sisi tumesikia tumepoteza wakati tunapoteza kijana kijana mdogo wa rika ya miaka hiyo ni nchi imepoteza na zetu ni kuria pamoja na familia na marafiki na kusema kwamba maoni yale wengi wameona kwamba champion kama hao wa, we, wawe wakiangaliwa hata kama ni security tunasema binu zote zinaweza kutimiza vitu na kuwe na nafasi ya kuzuia ziweze kuwekwa na rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya kwa sababu wewe ni mpenda na wewe ni chupukizi maoni ya wengi hapa ni kwamba wangetaka kuwa na nafasi ya kuwa na sehemu ya kuweza kufanya practice na kusikia kilio yao na ukisikia kilio yao utakuwa umewainua katika hali ya kutafuta uh, uh, tunasema kutafuta chakula ama kutafuta binu ya maisha ya kesho ridha ama hii bio ni sawa na biashara yoyote na ni kwamba tumeona wengi wakiinuka 
kutokana na ukibiaji. Kwa hivyo tungesema serikali yako washikirie kabisa wale ambao wana hii nyota ili nyota zao ziwete kuendelea kuangaa na na vazi yoyote ya kuweza kurembesha maisha yao iweze kuwekwa. Asantini sana na Mungu wabariki na pia hiyo mboma tunaomba Mungu aishikirie kutokea jamaa mwingine pale aweze kuzimba shimu ambayo imebaki wazi. Asantini. Asante sana wabunge wensangu. Mwisho rais sisi tukiwa elgeo Marakwet tuko nyuma yako. Na tunasema asante kwa ile kazi unatufanyia. Tunasema asante kwa Flospa ambaye we mwenyewe umekuwa mstari wa mbele na umesema itafunguliwa hivi karibuni. Tunasema asante. Ayo na ile mingine yote pamoja na mbolea your excellency we are saying thank you thank you. Asante. Sasa wacha nimpatie mheshimiwa uh, senator wetu Kisang alafu ataita wachumbe wengine ma senator. Karibu mheshimiwa. Yeah, asante sana bwana Kijan. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Deputy President, and all protocols of SAFT. Buanesa, sifiwe, asifiwe tena. Ya kwanza nataka kuchukua nafazi kwa niyabayangu na family kutuwa rambirambi kwa family ya Kelvin Kiptum. Kusema pole sana kwa kifo cha kijana yetu mdoko, our champion, our icon. Your Excellency, the President, tunashukuru sana kwa sababu ulikubali e-function, e-state function na mume karamia kila kitu tunasema asante sana ya excellency ya tatu tunashukuru kwa mchengo ya nyumba ya mchana wa Kiptum huko Jeronya ya excellency nimekuwa huko nyumba ilikamilika it's already furnished it's ready na tukimaliza mashishi bibi yake anaingia ndani na nyumba ya wasasi inaendelea tunasema ya excellency asante sana ya excellency tumeomba hapa na tumeomba kusema Kiptum was going very far na bibi yake bado wako mdoko kuna watu wameomba county government waandike kazi president wa AK sisi tunaomba kwa sababu penye ataishi ile nyuma umemchangia your excellency tunaomba rivaro lietu MTRH iko karibu angeandikwa hapo kazi your excellency ili itakuwa rahisi kwake kusomesha watoto na kwenda kasini iko karibu hapo your excellency Ya Excellency, ingine nataka kuchukua nafazi, I know governor ameamka hapa, e, nataka kuchukua nafazi, kuhita my colleague, Jerarkei, one minute kuja useme pole, leo atuna mambo ya siyasa, we are morning. Hakuna siyasa leo, we are morning. Ya Excellency, at least I've spoken. All of us, we are in agreement, pile, kila mtu amesema mambo ya at least. Awa ndio wanapeleka bendera yetu ya Kenya tunia yote hiyo mambo ya diplomatic passport hiyo tunaomba your excellency ya mwisho kabla jaraka aonge your excellency jana tumekuwa kapenda kals na wameomba in honor of Kiptum hapa Jepkorio itengenezwe hiyo stadium ya pili shule ya kapenda girls tujengea multi story building in honor of Kelvin Kiptum kwa sababu hapo ni nyumbani pamoja na Jeff Samo. One minute. Eh bwana asifiwe your excellency the president all protocol established the clergy ndugu eh, na bibi na baba wa ndugu yetu the hero legend Kevin Kiptum kwa niaba yangu on behalf of my family the great people of Nandi ni kusema pole. Ya pili ya rais na ya mwisho. Many people don't know that since you came in you have done a lot of reforms na mimi nimekubaliana na Athletics Kenya ya kwamba we need to rank fence kwa sababu wakati ulifika ule mtu anashinda gold anapatiwa 3 million ule anashinda silver 2 million ule anakuwa namba 3 anapewa 1 million na ule world record player kama breaker kama huyu ndugu yetu anapewa 5 million na nyumba so your excellency what we need to do is to uh, ensure ya kwamba we ring fence the sports fan so that it continues to gather for our people your excellency ya mwisho your excellency vile wamesema nataka ni ku request si athletes peke yao pia uongeze other sports federation 
waketi na wewe kama ni football kama ni athletics kama ni basketball ndio uweze kwa mentor the way you have mentored us in leadership your excellency ya mwisho your excellency nataka niombe kwa heshima najua tuko na mambo kidogo ya doping tafadhali your excellency hawa wakimbiaji na wanariadha waache kufukuza kama wezi saa ile wanafanya kazi ya doping na kuja kuangalia hawa waheshimiwe wafanyiwe in a professional way your excellency so we support you and we wish you well your excellency nataka niulize sports federation ikiongozwa na athletics kenya as you demand for us to support you you must run athletics and other federation in a professional transparent accountable in any given instance so that we go into the future arabi ga ka poleni sana kale boror ye bagimul yakobo kuma satu tungir wai tu situnye ga mwa betu ka santeni sana mungu abarik a good to karibisha little majority kwa senate tunataka we want to promise you your excellency tayari the national assembly wa mipitisha housing bill sisi kwa senate tunangojea and will pass it without any amendments asante sana asante your excellency the president deputy president prime cabinet secretary familia ya ndugu yetu kiptum eh, viongozi wote wako hapa eh, athletes na wakaji wa elgeo mara kwetu ombolezaji wote ambao wamekuja Naomba ni wasalimu wote bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ya kwanza your excellency on behalf of all the leadership of parliament both speakers wa both houses na uongozi ambao wengine hawako hapa siku ya leo ningependa kutoa rambi rambi na pole zetu sisi kama bunge la taifa la Kenya kwa familia ya mwenda zake uh, Kelvin Kiptum shujaa wetu wa taifa ambaye ametuacha kwa wakati ambao hatukua tunatarajia ya pili your excellency nitoe tu hakikisho kwamba ndugu zetu wale wa national assembly wamemalizia ile sheria ya gaming control bill na wameituma kwetu katika senate ningependa tu kutoa hakikisho hapa mbele ya hawa wanariadha wengi ambao wako hapa kwamba kuna lessons tulijifunza kutoka kwa ile maneno ilifanyika kwa sports fund we want to dedicate a big chunk of the contribution of the uh, fund that will be built out of that bill to development of this industry of sports uh, your excellency the truth of the matter ukiangalia hawa vijana wengi ambao walisimama hapa it tells you that there is an industry that is has great potential ambaye as a country we haven't been able to fully tap into mimi najua these are things that are passionate to you we have it in the Kenya Kwanza uh, manifesto and we shall be able to do all the promises that have been made today so that this industry excels and gives us great pride as a nation ya mwisho your excellency ni kutoa tu hakikisho nilionsikia general tuwei amesema kwamba wako na legislative proposal ambayo wangependa kutupatia sisi kama bunge that will ensure that our athletes live decent life na pia wana enjoy the fruits of their labor mimi natoa hakikisho hapa kwa niaba ya bunge kwamba wakati watakuwa tayari tutawasikiza federation na pia siku hiyo nitahakikisha tumeita hawa wanariadha wenyewe the athletes who participate and they can share with us the challenges and how they want us to do that law for them ningependa kutoa hiyo hakikisho kwa siku ya leo because i know we have challenges in many of our sports federation including hata hii athletics ambaye for many years they have not done their elections because of disputes and wrangles that are there i want to plead and request the leadership of athletics kenya and all those people who wako kotini in honor of kelvin kiptum and all athletes that suffer because of challenges in our federation hii mwaka isiishe kabla hatujafanya uchaguzi ya athletics kenya kubaliane ni mtoe kesi kotini wa na riadha wachague wale wanataka kazi yao iendelee kwa haya mengi na machache wacha ni mwalike sasa governor wa elgeo marakwet aweze kuendelea kutoka hapa asanteni na mwenyezi mungu awabariki Asante sana majority leader wetu Your Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya na mtoto wa nyumbani pia Your Excellency the Deputy President Rigi G mawaziri wetu ambao wako hapa viongozi magavana wenzangu wabunge wa kiongozo na mbunge wa hapa MCS wetu all federations wakimbiaji hapa na wananchi wote ambao wamekuja hapa kuomboleza ndugu yetu Kelvin ningependa kuwasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu wa mjambo 
Bwana asifiwe. Mimi sachukua muda mrefu Your Excellency. Nataka nichukue fursa hii kwa niaba ya wakaaji wote wa LG Marakwet County kutoa rambi rambi zetu kwa familia ya Kelvin, kwa mzee, mama na bibi yake na watoto. Pia Your Excellency tunatoa rambi rambi zetu kwa county nzima kwako na serikali yako kuu kwamba hata wewe pia tunaambiwa kwamba wakati ulisikia ulipata mshtuko sana Your Excellency kuliko sisi wote. Tunasema pole sana na tunasema pia shukrani zetu zote kwako Your Excellency kwa sababu siku ya leo tumetambulika na wakimbiaji wetu wametambulika kuwa na rais ambaye anakuja ana, ana kwa mazishi ya mkimbiaji hapa Your Excellency is the highest and the greatest honor that you have given to the athletes fraternity coming to this place today Your Excellency discussing this even in cabinet and helping the family during this time showed your generosity na tunasema atuchukui hivi hivi kama wakaji wa LG Marakwet County Your Excellency also we want to appreciate you since you took over Your Excellency atujawahi sikia wakimbiaji wetu wakilala sakafuni tangu ufike wote wamekuwa wamekuwa treated in a human and in a manner that befits an athlete who is helping Kenya huyu Kelvin Your Excellency was a personal friend to me and I want to tell you the first time I met Kelvin was immediately I became governor nikasema I want to start it in the national marathon saa 12 akakuja pale Cheror Gate akakunywa chai na mimi kwa hoteli ndogo hapo na nikauliza Kevin ulikimbia juzi ni kama ndio kuvunja record akaniambia ngoje nitavunja and he was in the starting line for the international marathon since then we became friends na tangu sikio wakati ali win hii juzi october he came all the way to my office we received him and we celebrated together in october your excellency after you had done it in nairobi with cs na mwamba wakati alikuja ofisi yangu akaniambia the world will know him this year at the next year of 2024 when he will be going to olympics and he told me when we were in my vehicle akaniambia your excellency governor taribu ukuje twende unione nikikimbia paris i promised him that i will go and witness history he had told me he's going to run under 2 in paris so that he shows the world that el gay marakwet is the best home of champions your excellency unfortunate that we may not see that moment but, but for you coming here today you have elevated our athletes to be a level that Kenyans now feel like kukimbia sio kitu tu hivi hivi it is a big thing that can get even the eye of the president of the republic of Kenya we are very humble na mimi kama governor hapa nataka tu nikushukuru kwa sababu juzi umetusaidia kwa kimo eh, pale Kamarin na Iten your excellency hapa tu wananchi tumekuwa na wao tukiombaleza hii masiku yote wametuomba na aliniomba mimi wakati tulikuja hapo kuongea chepsamo wamesema utusaidie hii kiwanja kaunti tuliifanya mpaka penye iko lakini your excellency ukituwekea hii kwetu kiwanja na uongeze tu manyumba ya kuishi athletes wengi wanarudi nyumbani na kupotea kwa sababu ya kukosa mahali ya kuishi na kusaidiwa wakipata hapa we will have made this place and get more athletes from this place uh, in KU South secondly your excellency we have a big problem in athletics and this problem your excellency emanates from qualified staff your excellency ukiona wale wanasaidia our athletes wetu utaona wote ni wazungu your excellency tuko na retired athletes ambayo wako na uwezo ya kukuwa coaches na kukuwa managers mimi nataka ni kuombe kwa unyenyekevu your excellency kwa sports ministry tukue na department waandikwe kama TSC tuandike coaches wa athletics wale wanasaidia vijana wetu na wanakuwa managers wa vijana wetu your excellency pia your excellency kwa sports pia nimekuomba ikiwezekana kwa counties kama Nandi Elgeyo Marakwet Wasingishu Norep counties wale wako na wakimbiaji ikiwezekana tuwapatie a special case where they have a coach in every school a teacher but he is a coach in every primary and every secondary school so that we nurture these athletics from the lowest level back at you ili tukue tuna win all these levels of uh, uh, competitions your excellence your excellence niko na mara, uh, wenzangu magavana wamekuja hapa ile tu ningependa kusema kwamba your excellence this is the biggest town in Kenya south na tulikuja kwako juzi na viongozi wote tulikupatia mambo yetu hatutarudia hapa tayari zingine zimeanza kufanyika na hapa utakuja kutuambia yale tulikuambia your excellence pia lakini mwisho ningependa kusema hivi wale 
walikuwa nafanya kazi na Kelvin the managers of Kelvin and I'll say in English those who were managing Kelvin those who were coaching Kelvin because of course we lost the coach I want to request you as the governor of this place Kelvin was a personal friend of me or uh, uh, my personal friend on behalf of myself and on behalf of this county and so that we also protect the rights of this family and the rights of these people I want to request the managers who are managing Kelvin that please do justice to Kelvin by making sure that no single cent of Kelvin disappears along the way. It will be even worse if it disappears and the person is dead. It will be a curse of generations. I am requesting you and your excellency if they don't comply we will come to you so that you can support us so that those young children our toto ni wadogo san our toto wanahitaji waende mpaka university so that Kelvin apate haki yake and finally our Nike and Golasso Nike has been here for the longest time since I was a young person Golasso has been here all these athletics or athletes run using your gear they all come from Elgeo Marakwet County we are here requesting our president to support us with a small stadium but Nike and Golasso you are global brands Kelvin runs and wins Kipchoge runs and wins how selfish can we be and leave the whole area like this without a single stadium written Nike and these people are running with you we are requesting you today in, in front of our president if possible do something in this county of Elge Marakwet so that we remember you and we will wear Nike in every day everywhere across the world Kwa hayo mengi, I want to take this opportunity Your Excellency to call my colleague governors wakuja hapa na wakati wanakuja Your Excellency niko na mkubwa yangu wa zamani Governor Tolgos nataka asimame a wave to the crowd Governor wetu wa kwanza wa Elge Marakwet County Our tattoo, Your Excellency, wakati Kelvin ali win marathon, walikuja sana kutu, kusherekea na sisi. Tutaanza na jirani, Governor Kachapin, kutoka West Pokot. Uh, rais wetu wa Jamuri ya Kenya, naibu wa Rais, ja, familia ya mtoto wetu Kelvin, kanisa, familia ya athletics wote, na monas wote, wana asifiwe, mimi vile mmesikia ni governor ya West Pokot mimi pia nimekuja kipinafsi na kwa niaba ya kaunti ya West Pokot kuja kusema pole na kuombolesa kwa kifo ya mtoto wetu Kelvin pia pale baraza la magavana mimi ni mwenyekiti kwa hivyo nasema kwa niaba ya baraza la magavana kama kamati tunasema pole sana kwa sababu kifo imetupokonya shujaa ambaye alikuwa ameleta sifa katika nchi yetu na pia alikuwa anaendelea kuleta sifa kubwa kwa hivyo mheshimiwa rais hata sisi kama magavana tumefurahia kwa sababu wewe uli ensi huyu shujaa wakati alikuwa hai ukapatia yeye uh, hona na pia wakati amefariki umeendeleza kuweka ile vision alikuwa naye kwa familia yake kwa kuwaheshimu kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana ile wenzangu wamesema ile heshima tunasapatia hii sehemu ya North Rift kwa sababu imetuletea sifa kubwa ni kujengea hawa wanariadha wetu FIFA ambayo wanaanza kutrain kwa njia mzuri kuna ile ma stadiums kama kama na zingine na hii ambayo wamesema tunaomba sana pia kama magava na kwamba sisi tutafanya yale pia kurekebisha yale madogo madogo ma stadiums kwa heshima ya uh, shujaa wetu lakini zaidi kwa sababu sisi ni wakimbiaji wa sehemu hii bila sio sana tunaomba sana wapewa hao FIFA na itakuwa ni heshima sana kwa wakimbiaji wetu kwa hivyo sina kusema mengi asanteni sana na Mungu atufariji Uh, rais wetu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya naibu wa rais prime cabinet secretary 
jamii ya wakimbiaji ambao leo tunahusika pamoja kwa kupoteza mwenzenu jamii ya Kiptum uh, kanisa ambalo wamekuja kutuongoza kwa mambo ya kiroho waombolezaji wote ambao tumekuja hapa Bwana Yesu asifiwe yangu ni machache your excellency kwamba nimekuja hapa kwa sababu yangu mimi mwenyewe na kwa na sababu ya wasingishu ni hapa ya wasingishu ambao wakimbiaji wote wanaishi kutoa rambi rambi zetu tunajua kwamba Kiptum ametupatia jina na sifa kubwa sana injini Kenya ombi langu moja rais ni kwamba hao wakimbiaji na jamii ya wakimbiaji sisi wote tunajua wametupatia jina safi sana na wametuenzi kama Kenya lakini wanajiuliza swali tangu 60s to have so many medals wakati ya Kipchoge 70s 80s 90s mpaka sasa lakini hatuna kitu ya kuonyesha dunia kwamba sisi tuko na wakimbiaji kwa sababu vifaa ambao wanatumia viwanja vyao zote siko chini kwa heshima yao your excellency na kuomba utukamilishe hivi viwanja ili kila mwaka tusikuombe na kuomba vizazi vingine utukamilishie Kipchoge Stadium tunakuomba kwa heshima kwa sababu the medals they have given us mengi sana utusaidie ile yangu ya Kipchoge ile ya 64 stadium hatuna pesa ya kutosha ile ingine ya Kamarini hizi zote your excellency go out of your way and help us because hawa pia lazima tuwaenzi kwa hiyo machache your excellency naomba kwamba sisi kama governors tunakushukuru sana umesimama na watu wetu wote wanasema hawa watu wote wanatoka humu umezaliwa nandi na hapa lakini wote wakikimbia wakifaulu wote wanakuja kuhisi washingishu na hata leo your excellency nyumba ya tum baada ya hii tunaenda wasingishu tunapoinua Eldoret kwa city tunaomba wakimbiaji tafadhali come and invest in Eldoret town kwa sababu hapo ni mali sisi wote tuna retire asante sana na Mungu awabariki Asante sana kwanza rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Daktari William Ruto Deputy President Prime Cabinet Secretary Leaders Present familia ya Kelvin Kiptum viongozi wa kanisa na wananchi wote kwanza nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kwa niaba yangu binafsi familia yangu na kwa niaba ya serikali na wananchi wa Nandi kusema pole sana kwa kifo cha Kiptum nimekuja hapa kwa sababu sisi ni jamii moja hii jamii your excellency Mwenyezi Mungu ametupatia talanta haswa hii as athletics ambayo iko katika Nandi, iko hapo Wasingishu, iko Ilgoyo Marakwet. Sisi tumeguzika kama region yetu ya North Rift na pia kama serikali ya nchi ya Kenya na part of the reason why we have not won the war against doping is because the program and the fight against doping is skewed against athletes leaving out the other stakeholders. Your Excellency, how do you punish an athlete by burning them for four years or eight years while those who may have participated in the process of introducing them to that mess are allowed to walk free and they will be available to defile and mess up the lives of other athletes we must rethink the fight against doping in this country and ensure that every person who participates in the process is actually fined so that we do not have a situation where our athletes are introduced to doping in a manner that messes up their lives as we move into the future. Nataka kusema asante sana poleni familia tuko pamoja na nyinyi. Asante Mungu awabariki. Ili nikimaliza all deputy governors na staff wa counties wote walisaidiana kwa mambo ya Kiptum eh, send off tafadhali deputy governor kutoka Nandi, deputy governor Elgeyo Marakwet, CCs, everyone wa county tumsimame tu pamoja wale walifanya kazi speaker wa Westport wale wote walisaidiana. Your Excellency mwisho ni kwamba nimepewa kazi ya kwamba tuangalie mambo ya mjane lakini Your Excellency unajua mimi ni kijana yako ya mkono niko chini yako wengine wanasema serikali kuu Your Excellency wewe ndio unapeana signal kwa hii maneno yote kwa hii Kenya mzima utatupanga sisi ndio tutafuata tu ile wewe umesema ni ile sisi tunafuata Your Excellency 
finally to the athletics kenya athletics uh, world athletics uh, federation is that we want to tell the world that kiptum is not the last athlete to come from this area our young children the young children of kiptum will be the ones also to break the record but there are only two things you've seen governor kutimoja saying kila mtu atenda wasingishu governor i want to uh, rectify and say there are only two things in this world now if you really need to win anything across the world in terms of athletics there are only two things you are either born in elge marakwet or you train in elge marakwet if you don't have that forget about winning thank you very much nachukua mudai sasa kukaribisha waziri kijana wa nyumbani waziri kipchumba murkomen na your excellency tunashukuru sana kwa kupeleka mtu mnyana title deed mpaka sasa nasimamia barabara yote Kenya mzima your excellency that was a great honor to elge marakwet karibu sana eh, waziri Wesley waja vitina you, your, your excellency the president the deputy president the family of uh, our brother Kelvin Kiptum and all the distinguished monarchs who are here good afternoon your excellency I'll be very brief and before I make a few remarks let me first introduce uh, my colleagues who are here we have various government officials uh, let me start with the uh, Honorable Florence Bore. She is the CS in charge of labor and social services. We have also uh, PSS who are here. I'll start with the son of uh, this county and a family member. You can see he's sitting with the family, Your Excellency. Uh, Honorable Chris Kipto, Dr. Chris Kipto, PS Treasury, is a member of the family and also he comes from this constituency and this county. P.S. Uh, I was not to introduce P.S. Tum, but on behalf of my friend Namwamba, I'll introduce the P.S. of Sports, P.S. Tum, who has worked closely with Kip Tum and the team. Uh, we have also, oh yeah, P.S. Hari Mutai, the P.S. of Health, is also here, Your Excellency. We also have former members of Parliament. They just wanted to be recognized here. We have Honorable Kip Tanui. We have Honorable Langat. We have Honorable uh, Kamlesh, uh, Daniel Rono. Uh, you know what happened. You will know what to do, Your Excellency. And we know, and, uh, and we also have Honorable Langat, who is here. There are many other senior government officials here. There are MCS of the area, Wakohapa Simameni, Mambiwa Niwa Simamisha, Santendi Sana, Mweshimo MCA wa area E, wa ward ya Kiptum ni Leng, na also MCA wa area uh, Koima ambaye ni hasla alikuwa conductor wa matatu. Asante sana your excellency. Your excellency um, kwanza nataka kusema kwamba mimi nilihusunika sana kwa kumpoteza mkimbiaji ambaye alikuwa mtu wa kutegemewa kwa dunia mzima. Bwana Kiptum alipofariki hatukumpoteza kwa elgeo mara kwa peke yake but in the whole world. Ungeangalia habari za dunia ngeona kwamba CNN, BBC, all channels in the world were covering his death because your excellency this man this very man who perhaps had the little education who perhaps your excellency started running just a few years ago he was walking on foot a man who perhaps could never have been recognized by anybody because of his hard work and talent became a conqueror of the world your excellency i love athletics perhaps because i went to saint patrick's high school where my desk mates were world beaters gold medal uh, uh, medalist when we were in class but i've become a fan of athletics i watched keep running chicago marathon live and breaking that record your excellency these athletes including keep have made a difference through sports and sometimes we have over glorified class education your excellency to the extent that we deny these op uh, athletes opportunities to serve in government because just because of lack of a paper your excellency under cbc program we need to change our mindset we should not force 
or everybody to have a particular certificate they are running exploits must count for something and must be rewarded to be a certificate and we are excellency there is no problem if we can absorb these world athletes once they win their medals in the world there's no problem to take them to government parastatals to become brand ambassadors and get them a job your excellency these strictures if it to naweka kwa sheria kusema lazima ukue umemaliza form 4 ukue na second upper degree ukue na masters your excellency under cpc program i want you to request you we find a way of accommodating everybody who breaks a world record becomes mandatory in our government to absorb them in some place in government to serve to become a brand ambassadors of these institutions your excellency to finish your excellency i want to say this we will we support your government in everything that has been requested we will work with you under your directives to make sure that these things are delivered on my part these athletes had requested me in Iten the other day if we don't plan Iten very well your excellency if we don't plan Kaptakat very well if we don't plan Chepkorio very well and many other towns Kapsabet, Kericho and other places where they train these people will lack a place to run and to train Ukienda saa hizi mabarabara zetu umejaa boda boda na imewekwa lami kila mahali. Ilikuwa ni request yao wakimbiaji kwamba wawachiwe barabara yao ya maram yenye watakutumia kama training kwa sehemu hizi za North Rift your excellence. Na nime request all the three governors who are here mark those roads and as a ministry of roads sisi tutatengeneza tuweke mara mzuri where they can be able to train because it is not all the roads that must be tarmac if we put in tarmac we will finish our work to our training now miguel itaumia your excellency we must make sure that we give them the running tracks for the maram as they requested the rest of the things that touch on our uh, dockets your excellency to tafanya hiyo to akikisha to end the better thank you sir for coming to this county thank you also i want to get a bit to your excellency kocha katika haya eguchi Excellency, I thank you and now it's my pleasure to invite my colleague and I want to say if when Amwamba is coming here to these athletes who are here you got a cabinet secretary who loves his job and loves your people i have no i want is my colleague but under peer review i can say ababu namwamba is one of the most hard-working committed at, uh, uh, minister to his job and to the athletes and i want to say if you continue like that mheshimiwa na mwamba tukishikiliana pamoja wewe utabadilisha sports kwa dunia yetu karibu ndugu yangu uendelee kutoka hapo asanteni sana na mungu awafariki thank you very much my brother waziri kichumba now mze samson cheriot chepkieng na mama Mary Kangongo wazazi wa huyu shujaa wetu Asnath pamoja na watoto Caleb Kigen na Precious Jerop Poleni sana mutio mutio misingi Your Excellency Nataka kwanza kutoa rambi rambi maalum kutoka kwa baraza lako la mawaziri na ni shukuru baraza lote la mawaziri kwa kuchukua muda kuzungumzia huyu shujaa wetu katika kikao chetu cha baraza la mawaziri wiki iliyopita na wakaweka pamoja ujumbe maalum as a special tribute to this national hero 
Your Excellency, allow me to read this message from Cabinet. And this message is signed by His Excellency the President, His Excellency the Deputy President, our Prime Cabinet Secretary, and all Cabinet Secretaries. And this is their message. Since Monday, 12 February 2024, when we received the dreadful news of the passing of Calvin Kitum, alongside his coach, Javier Hakizimana, on the night of Sunday, 11 February, Kenya and indeed the rest of the world has been gripped by overwhelming sadness at the tragic loss of a Kenyan and global icon. Snatched from us at just 24 years of age, the late Kiptoum was a once in a generation sporting talent who astounded the sporting world by becoming the first person to run a marathon in under two hours and one minute. This historic achievement and his many other record-shattering feats in his short career earned him accolades both at home and abroad, which included his much-deserved confirmant with a national honor and award, the Order of the Grand Warrior, or GW. This world is now a lesser place without Kelvin Kiptum in it. The night sky is darker, the sea breeze colder in the absence of his bright star and radiant warmth. His accomplishments inspired millions to continuously push themselves to greater heights of excellence, whether in sports or in other aspects of life. His easygoing personality, humility, and eagerness to assist and mentor others made him a much beloved figure among all who he interacted with. To his wife, Asna Jeruto Rotich, their children, Caleb Kien Kitum, and precious Jerob Kitum, and to Kitum's parents, Mary Kangongo, and Samson Cheruyo Chepkien, as well as the larger family, on behalf of a mourning nation, we extend our heartfelt condolences for your tragic loss. We mourn with you for the passing of a young man in his short life who achieved so much, made so many lives better, inspired millions, and immortalized himself in sporting record books, as well as in the hearts of athletics fans. What really can we say to make it well to a young wife and children who have lost their pill of joy and strength at such a tender age? What words are enough to pacify parents who had just started watching their young son reap the fruits of hard work and determination? How much condolence is sufficient to console a family bereft of their beacon of hope and direction? Indeed, nothing is sufficient, especially not at this moment of darkness and soul searching, but we join in your pain and invite you to take solace in the Holy Scripture in Revelation 21, 14, which says, and I quote, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, end of quote. We, the cabinet of the government of Kenya, join the world in expressing our grief and sense of loss at Kitum's passing, as well as our gratitude for having been blessed to have him in our lives, I'll beg for too briefly. As Kiptum and Hakizimana are laid to rest, we thank the Almighty God for their lives and legacies, and we trust that the Lord Almighty will give you the strength and fortitude to bear this great loss. This is a message from the Cabinet of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, allow me to briefly say a couple of things on behalf of the Ministry responsible for sports. Today I stand here really with a very heavy heart because Kiptum for me was like a son. 
And I interacted with this young man up close, and he was an incredible, incredible young Kenyan. A bright star deemed far too soon, and an athlete who was already taking a prominent role in all the good things that this ministry and government is doing. Kiptum had already become a champion in our anti-doping agenda, our absolute zero tolerance to doping, our message of running and winning clean. And indeed, when his record was ratified only a couple of weeks ago by World Athletics, we applauded because he then symbolized that indeed you can run, you can win, and you can shatter world records without doping. And so we have really lost an incredible star in many respects. Kitum has also unified our country in life as well as in death. When he ran that incredible two hours, 35 seconds, the whole of Kenya celebrated. And when he passed on on that fateful night of February 11, we all were shattered. Your Excellency, I traveled here just hours after that in terrible accident, visited the family, and I could see how devastating that accident was on the whole village of Chepsamo, this whole area of Chepkorio, and indeed the whole Elgeo Marakwet County. I went to the mortuary, to the morgue at Eldoret Hospital, to view the body of uh, Calvin lying side by side with his coach, Kavie Hakizimana, and I could see what a great loss it was to the family and to everybody. And I want to assure all of us here today that we honored Kelvin in life. We honored Kiptun in life. Two days after he broke the world record, the ministry hosted a special ceremony where we honored him in the manner that we have set as government, including the rewards that we have set for setting our record. And I'm glad that even in his passing, again, government has stepped forward to honor this national hero so that we recognize that he was a hero both in life and in passing. And I'm glad to also disclose that we have extended this honor to his coach, Javier Hakizimana. Nataka kushukuru mishimiwa rais ya kwamba uliniruhusu siku mbili zilizopita uliniruhusu kusafiri hadi kule Rwanda Kigali kujiunga na familia ya aliye coach aliyekuwa coach wa Kitum Javier Hakizimana and I joined the family and friends of coach Hakizimana as we laid him to rest in Kigali and I want to assure you that the people of Rwanda really appreciated the gesture from the people and the government of Kenya of standing with that family. And incidentally, Mukewe Kocha Hakizimana ni mtoto wa hapa Chepkorio, Joan ana Joan Chelima anatoka hapa Chepkorio, ambaye sasa ni mjane na tumetoa msaada maalum kama serikali kusaidia familia hiyo. Let me also add that uh, there is a very deliberate effort that government is doing to support our sportsmen and women in terms of facilities. And I have had a lot of talk here about facilities and infrastructure. Your Excellency, again, with your guidance, we are already working on a lot of these facilities. We have advertised the construction of Camarin Stadium to international standards and we are at the tail end to start that project. Alongside Camarin, we will also, we'll also be upgrading E10 grounds. And in honor of uh, our fallen hero, I see no reason why we cannot add these Chepkorio grounds to that project which is already progressing. And in this whole region, which is really our talent belt, all the way from South Rift, from Bomet, through Kericho, to Wasingishu, to Nandi, Elgeo Marakwet, West Pokot, this whole region, we are being very deliberate, Your Excellency, in investing in upgrading of facilities. We already have a project to upgrade 
Kipchoge Keino Stadium, which in fact is one of our target host cities for the Africa Cup of Nations in 2027. We have already advertised the construction of Kipchoge Keino Stadium in Nandi County. Our eyes are on Kapkatet grounds in Kericho County. Our eyes are on Bomet Stadium in Bomet County. And so this whole athletics talent belt is very much fully catered for in our infrastructure development program. That I want to assure you here. We have also included this region in the special program of setting up training centers. Your Excellency, we have set up 42 athletics training centers countrywide. And this Elgeo Marakwet County has three of those 42. Kaimoi Secondary School, Kapkenda Girls, and uh, Chewot Boys. All those are centers among those 42. And we have now added St. Patrick E10 as a special elite training center. And so even in terms of centers and, um, and academies, we are very much on top of that agenda. Finally, Your Excellency, let me also clarify and assure our athletes that we genuinely love and care for you as our athletes. Tunawajali sana. Tunawajali kwa sababu, you are the goose that lays the golden egg. I love to say that Kenya's number one export to the world is not tea, is not coffee, is not tourism. Kenya's top export to the world are these great sportsmen and women. You are the people who brand this country in terms that we cannot even quantify. And that is why we have taken some very, very strong measures. Number one, we have improved the reward scheme. Now we are rewarding you at a much, much higher level. Number two, we have worked with Athletics Kenya to introduce an endowment fund. And the ministry has donated 20 million Kenya shillings, Your Excellency, to activate an endowment fund to support our athletes in retirement. And we have invited the private sector to work with us to support that endowment fund. Number three, we have initiated together with Athletics Kenya a pension scheme. A pension scheme where our athletes can save voluntarily while active and can draw from that while in retirement. We have also partnered with Athletics Kenya and Housing Finance to start a special package, a special product for you to fully benefit from the affordable housing program. And finally, we have introduced a program working together with our banks, Kenya Commercial Bank, uh, National Bank of Kenya, and Cooperative Bank on financial literacy to help our athletes to manage their finances better, to invest their resources better, so that while the sun shines, you can keep some hay for when it rains. And so I believe that we are doing well. I want to invite all of us to support all these programs. I want to invite partners like Golazo, like Nike. We appreciate the work you are doing to help us develop athletics. We want to invite you to work with government to support all these programs so that we can fully support our athletes. Now, haki kishia wana riadha wetu. Na wana sporti wetu kwa jumla. Ya kwamba serikali ya William Samuel Ruto ina nia, ina azma, ina wezo wa kuinua hali yenu. And we shall not spare any effort in making sure that we continue in, in improving your circumstances. Poleni sana kwa kumpoteza muenzenu watu wa Chepsamo, Chepkorio, Elgeo Marakwet, Poleni sana mutio mutio misin. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, let me conclude by saying that all the resources due to Kelvin and the ministry is being very deliberate in documenting anything that was due to Kiptum. Due from government, due from agents, due from endorsements, due from management, we shall pursue every single coin and make sure it is put together to the benefit of this family. Your Excellency, I give that assurance.
na ni kushukuru mheshimiwa rais in a record seven days we have been able to put up a home two houses both three bedroom one three bedroom house for asnaf and her children Caleb and Precious and another three bedroom house from Zich Riot and Mama Mary Kangongo and that is support from government and we will continue to stand with this family it is now my honor and privilege ninaposema kwa heri to a boy who has been like a son to me a boy who really I had a lot of faith in I was looking forward to keep him shattering the two hour ceiling in the marathon and for him to take a bow in the Olympics this summer in Paris as I say kwa heri nasema pole sana na tutasimama na family let me now take this opportunity to invite his excellency our prime cabinet secretary to deliver his message of condolence asante sana kongoi missing Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the Deputy President, Rigathi Gachagua, the widow of uh, Kelvin Kiptum, Asanath, and your two children, Caleb and Precious, the parents, the sporting fraternity, World Athletics, and the Kenyan athletics leadership, friends, brothers and sisters, and the clergy. Mine shall be very brief. First is to take this opportunity at a personal level to convey our deepest condolences to the family of Kelvin Kiptum, a flame that has been blown out by an unfortunate accident only a few days ago. Your Excellency, it's a difficult moment, particularly for the family and for the people of this area and Kenyans and the athletics community. We can only wish and pray that the record that Kiptum was planning to break shall one day be broken by Precious and Caleb. The other thing I would just want to highlight, Your Excellency, is that we wish to recognize and appreciate your government because you have provided a strong peaceful and stable and secure environment for these young people to be able to showcase their talent and be able to globally scale this particular terrain without any worries whatsoever. It is important that we continue to rally behind you as a nation so that peace and security and stability will anchor the opportunities that abound amongst our people. Finally, Your Excellency, I have come to this place where they say it's high altitude. And high altitude comes with a strong wind and a chill. So I have learned that in order to beat the wind, the secret amongst the high altitude people is that you have to keep running <laughs> so that you can be warm. And in the process, you can deal with this very strong wind. And uh, so that we don't take any more time, because Nilpuangalia, I realize that the time the politicians have taken to speak if Kelvin was running, he would have actually broken the record <laughs> of the two hours. So in short, 
we politicians have taken more than two hours to talk, and that is what Kelvin wanted to, to shatter. So with those few words, let me now call my brother, Rigade Gachagua, so that he can come forward, make a few remarks, and invite His Excellency the President, and may Kiptum's soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. Mwishimua Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, the family of the late Kelvin Kiptum, his wife and children and parents, our athletes, all leaders present, what to happen at Chef Koryo, God is good, and all the time, Nisalimioni Kohebo na Yesu Wasifiwe, Your Excellency, I will be very short. Sababu hii baridi bila naendelea. Hata wewe rais ukija nimekuomba ufupisha pia. Kwa sababu huyu Kipchumba Mukomen hakutuambia tuvae vizuri pale tunakuja. Mimi rais tumekuja na rais hapa to join the family to moon this great son of this land and a hero of our great country. A young man who has done proud to our republic by shattering the world record and was looking forward to even do much better in the Olympics at Paris. We have come to Kodo with a young family and the parents and to tell them that we hold them in prayer that God gives them strength to bear the great loss. Your Excellency, your presence here today is a clear demonstration of where your administration holds our athletes. Last Jamhuri Day, Your Excellency, you honored many athletes, including the late, with honors because of your personal commitment to the development of sports in this country. Na kwa hivyo tunaomba wale wanariadha wote ambaye wataenda Olympics to honor this great son here by carrying our flag high and shattering many other world records. That way tutakuwa tumeinua jina lake. We trust our team will do very well in Paris na tunatakia nyinyi mema kama rais atakubali anipe ruhusa nitakuja siku mbili tatu niungane na nyinyi sijui kama atakubali kwa sababu rais siku hizi kichwa yake iko tu kwa mambo ya uchumi anatusukuma hata sisi wengine masomo yetu iko chini anatuambia tukuwe economist najua huyu rais na fikiri yangu lakini kuna bali alinichenga kidogo Aliponiambia nikuwe naibu wake nilikuwa nafikiri nakuja kumsaidia kazi hakuniambia ya kwamba zote anataka tukuwe ma economist mambo yetu tu mambo ya uchumi kutoka asubuhi mpaka usiku kwa hivyo rais utanikubalia mimi niende Paris siku mbili tatu ni wachana mambo ya uchumi nika support hao sisi tunataka kusema tumekuja hapa kuungana na nyinyi na we want to say pole to the parents to the widow to the children we are with you in prayer during this very difficult time. Governor umeogea mzuri ya kwamba ukitaka kuwa mshindi this is a county to be na hiyo ni mzuri. Umesema pia ukitaka good training this is a county to be. Ungeongeza tu ukitaka bahali iko baridi kali this is a place to be. Kwa hayo machache ningemuomba rais wetu kwa heshima akuje Aonge na peane rabirabi Mwishimu Rais Asante ni sana Tafadhali tuketi Mama Mjane mama Asanath Na watoto wandugu yetu Kiptum Caleb na Precious 
mzee baba yake Samson na mama Mary familia wananchi wa hapa Chepkorio pamoja na Elgeyo Marakwet County Hamjambo Hamjambo tena Chamgei Mimi pia naungana na viongozi wote kuleta rambi rambi zetu kwa jamii hii ya ndugu yetu kijana mwanaspoti Kelvin Kiptum katika ghafla hii ya mazishi ya huyu kijana poleni sana pole mama pole wazazi wake marafiki wake the sporting fraternity who are here na wananchi wa sehemu hii huyu Kelvin ingawaje alizaliwa katika sehemu hii alikuwa amevuka mipaka ya kijiji yake kaunti yake akawa ni mkenya ambaye alitambulika na vile mumeona hata katika kifo yake dunia mzima imeungana kwa sababu ya kijana huyu Kevin and therefore we've come here as friends as family as leaders to condole with the family on the demise of this great Kenyan and a world beater um, I got to know about the passing on of Kelvin from CS Ababu I think it was maybe a few hours after it happened and it was really a very heavy moment for us because in Kelvin we saw the future of athletics in Kenya and Kelvin has stood out not just as a great athlete but more importantly as a good person alikuwa ni mtu mwenye roho safi na tumekuja hapa kumpatia rambi rambi zetu za pole na za kwaheri na hata katika kifo yake Kelvin is talking to us in many ways anatuzungumzia kama wa Kenya hata katika kifo yake kwa sababu huyu Kevin alikuwa ni mtu vile imesemwa hapa na wale walikuwa wanafanya kazi na yeye he was ambitious disciplined and focused kwa sababu alikuwa ametoka mahali palipo chini sana lakini kwa sababu ya bidii na kujitolea alifika mahali amevunja rekodi ya dunia huyu kijana ambaye alitoka familia ambaye haijulikani sehemu ndogo ya Chepkorio lakini leo rekodi ya dunia iko na jina yake na ni kwa sababu alijitolea hakutaka kuwa na sababu he had more reasons not to succeed than he had to succeed but he worked against the odds he could have said i come from 
a village that is not very known, very well known, or I come from a family that cannot get up for me, or that I don't have even running shoes. You heard him that he ran barefoot in his earlier days. But he didn't see those as impediments to his ambition and to his success. I say Kevin, even in his death, is speaking to us as Kenya. That we may not have gold, we may not have so much, and that should not deter us from being the great country that we must be. All of us, as the people of Kenya, we must love this country enough to be able, each and every one of us, to do their best to make Kenya great. Kelvin had just joined the many heroes that we have, the great ambassadors of our country, our sportsmen and women that keep Kenya on the world map. And I know that we had faith, we had hope that he would keep Kenya in that map even in the coming Olympics in Paris. But since we have you, our athletes, and you have heard from all of us, Paris is going to be the Olympics that is going to define this man, Kevin. We want you to make Paris an Olympics of Kevin Kiptum. Mutusaidie na tunajua mkona uwezo. Nataka nuambia wanariadha wetu na sportsmen wote wataifa letu la Kenya, sportsmen and women wa Kenya. Kwamba sisi tuko na mpango kamili. Wakati tumechaguliwa 2022 mnajua tayari Kenya ilikuwa katika orodha ya nchi ambazo zingepigwa marufuku. We were candidates for being banned for matters doping. And it took us as an administration. I remember sending a babu na mwamba and we had to engage our friend Sebastian Ko. When I sat with him in my office, I asked him a simple question. What do I do so that Kenya is not banned? And he asked me that for Kenya not to be banned, you have to do one, two, three, four, and you have to put a fund of 500 almost 750 million Kenya shillings every year to deal with the problem of doping. I am very happy that we complied and Kenya today is off the list of countries to be banned for doping. <laughs> Sebastian Go was here himself. He has had to leave. And I want to thank him because he is a friend of Kenya. Why not for him? He went, he bent over backwards to accommodate our country. 
mimi nataka niwaulize wanariada wetu mumejaliwa na Mungu bidii yenu imewafikisha mbali msikubali mambo haya ya madawa ya haribu talanta zenu na ya haribu sifa yenu kama wanariadha wa taifa letu la Kenya tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi and i have made a commitment that every year we are going to have five million dollars as we committed to world athletics to make sure that we deal with the problem of doping in Kenya. Our plan is to spend close to three and a half billion over the next five years in dealing with that problem because we cannot fathom a situation where Kenya is in the wrong list. Number two, Vile Waziri Amesema, Tulianzisha fund ya sports fund pale 2015 nafikiri. Na tulianzisha hiyo fund makusudi kwa sababu hatukukuwa na fund kamili ya kushughulika na wachezaji wetu. We didn't have a dedicated proper fund for managing sports in Kenya. That's why we came up with a sports fund. Unfortunately, along the way, 60% of that fund was taken to do other things. I want to tell the sporting fraternity that we have now reinstated sports fund to deal with only matters sports. Now that fund is going to be dedicated 100% to making sure that we deal with only matters sports. And I want to confirm to you that the study you have asked for, all the other facilities, the training centers you have asked for, will now become a possibility because we have secured funding for it and we have eliminated all the other issues from being funded by sports fund. Um, we have other interventions to go na maneno ya endowment fund ambayo tumeanzisha kushughulika na eh, wachezaji wetu wote pia tuko na pension fund ambayo tunawauliza kila mwanariadha aweze ku, eh, kujisajili na hiyo tutasaidia kama serikali kuhakikisha ya kwamba wanariadha wetu wakisha fika retirement na tunajua retirement ya wanariadha inakuja mapema pia watakuwa na pesa ya kuhakikisha kwamba wanariadha wetu hawaishi maisha ambayo sio mazuri baada ya wakati wao wa kuinua na kuweka heshima katika taifa letu so yale mambo yote mmesema hapa tayari waziri ako na maelekezo yangu kuhakikisha kwamba haya mambo yote yanashughulikiwa najua mmeuliza hapa chekorio tuweze kutengeneza hii kiwanja hii kiwanja tutatengeneza kiwanja ya Kamarin tutatengeneza kiwanja ya Iten tutatengeneza ile ya Eldoret tutatengeneza hizo zote kwa sababu sasa ile pesa ilikuwa inatumika kwa mambo mengine tumeaondoa katika budget yetu ya mwaka huu we will only have matters sports and i am going to tell members of parliament we are bringing the sports fund law to parliament so that we can amend to eliminate all the other things that were 
inadvertently put that is compromising the fund in matters funding sports so tutashirikiana namna hiyo nakimbia acha na yeye sawa sawa tabungu tabungu nyinyo acha tu aketi hapa pelekeni yeye aketi hapa tabungu nyinyo tabungu nyinyo aketi hapo so um tutashirikiana sisi wote kuhakikisha kwamba fund yetu hiyo tukiungana na bunge na nimeshukuru wabunge wengi hapa wameongea na wamesema ya kwamba tutashirikiana pamoja vile vile tumekubaliana sisi wote kwamba ili tuwashughulikie hawa wanariadha wakiwemo wachezaji wale wengine wote wanaspoti wote katika taifa letu la Kenya pia tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutazidi na kutengeneza mbinu mpya ya kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo kazi ita timia ya kuhakikisha kwamba wanariadha wetu wakipata pesa zao wanapata mafunzo wanapata taratibu na vile vile even our reward system we are going to adjust our reward system so that it is not about just money for today that it also becomes money for the future and i'm asking ababu and your team to sit down and recalibrate our reward system so that there is uh, money that is available there is money that is uh, given as a reward but there is also money that is put in a pension system to support the athletes after they retire kwa huyu kijana Kelvin tayari serikali ya Kenya vile tulishakubaliana na vile tumeweka taratibu mpya huyu kijana tushampatia milioni tano tayari na serikali itampatia nyumba mzuri mbali na ile nyumba tumejenga hapa tutampatia nyumba mzuri huyu kijana e, sasa tutampatia mjane wake na tutapangana na hawa vyo, hawa e, wanariadha pamoja na wachezaji wale wengine wote e, so that we can support our sportsmen and women so otherwise mimi e, naungana na wale wanasema tufupishe kwa sababu hii mahali ni baridi tuseme ukweli hata <laughs> huyu rigiji ameniambia siku ile nakuja tena hapa ni muambie ndiye asikuje anasema <laughs> hii dunia iko iko ngumu sana lakini eh, kwa watu wa sehemu hii hapa Chepkorio pia tuko na mpango katika ile mpango yetu ya mambo ya transformation ya Kenya hapa Chepkorio tuko na soko ambayo tutajenga ya shilingi milioni hamsini tutajenga soko hapa hapa Chepkorio pia ni candidate ya affordable housing katika ile affordable housing ya Elgeyo Marakwet Chepkorio hapa ni moja ya sehemu ambayo tutajenga tutakuwa na mpango ya affordable housing na kazi zile zingine zote nimesikia ya stima ya barabara ya zile zingine zote e, tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi to all the other people that are working with us in this space eh, that are sponsors the people that are managers we want to work together towards developing this resource a great resource for Kenya and a great resource 
globally. So, mimi nataka ni washukuru sana watu wa Elgeyo Marakwet, nyinyi ni watu wa PT, mumechunga mazingira kwa njia ya kipekee, mimi nataka ni sema pongezi. Kazi zile zingine zote ambazo mume, tumekubaliana pamoja na nyinyi niliwaambia juzi wakati nilikuwa hapa Elgeyo Marakwet ya kwamba mambo ya Flospa tunashughulikia. Sasa tumemaliza na tume award contract na mwenye kuja kuendesha hiyo maneno sasa atakuja hapa kiwanjani wewe governor ujipange na watu wako ndio tuweze eh, kuendesha hiyo kazi kazi yenu ya county aggregation industrial park vile vile tumekamilisha na sasa ujenzi itaanza kwa hivyo mambo yale mengine mengi hapa katikati nikirudi tena tutakuja tushughulike pamoja na nyinyi. So otherwise asanteni sana um, to the great uh, family of uh, athletics Kenya and athletes who are here the athletics community you have our support you have my uh, commitment that we are going to deal with all the issues to make sure that you continue to be the great ambassadors of our country. Kwa mama Asenath, nita keti chini na governor wenu, alafu tukubaliane ile kazi itatoshana na huyu mama, njyo waweze, waweze kusimamia watoto wa kijana wetu mwanariatha Kevin Kiptum. So otherwise asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa Chepkorio poleni tena kwa kumpoteza huyu kijana wetu uh, Kevin poleni sana and uh, we all need to be um, mindful of our lifestyles so that we can avoid instances like this that in a very young, young age, a very promising, uh, good Kenyan has lost his life. Tutashirikiana pamoja na pia wazazi and the coaches and all the other people that are involved, the managers, they should do more to make sure that we mentor these young people and young athletes into great sportsmen and women. Uh, watu kama, na, kama kina Paul Tergat, you should do more. Um, the other older um, sportsmen and women, they should do more in mentoring the younger ones and guiding the younger ones so that we can um, assist them to be successful athletes and successful Kenyans. We will do our part as the government of Kenya and we uh, I implore on everybody else to do their part. So Mutyami Singh big up uh Nepche Korea Mutya and Kevin na lecture na lagi kutani ge moe ko ka kubwa en betu tage eh poleni sana may kevin's soul rest in eternal peace asante ni sana thank you your excellency na sasa tukienda kumalizia ibada nitamuita philip kiplagat Aje apatiane vote of thanks on behalf of the family. Alafu tumalizie kwa benediction. Bishop Korir will give us the benediction as we exit. I'll guide you on the exit protocols after that. Your Excellency President, and the commander in chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, I wish to give a vote of thanks 
on behalf of the family of the late Kelvin Kiptum. Kwanza naanza na familia yetu. I want to thank the family of uh, Kaptroy Teach at Large. Nasema asante sana. Makanisa yote ambayo walikuja kutufariji ikiongoswa na Chef Corio Paris. Funeral Committee ambayo ilikuwa chaired na Michael Kiblagat. Local leaders right from the elder village elders na my chiefs asante sana tulishukuru sana elected leaders MCS Kaptaraku Award Jebkori Award and Kabiyobit Award asante sana we don't take that for granted county government of Elgeo Marakwet asante sana ikiongozwa na governor Wisley Rotich tulishukuru sana MPs kutoka Keio South Keio North Marakwet East na Marakwet West asante sana mlikuja kutufariji county commissioner Elgeo Marakwet Athletics Fraternity led by General Tuwei asante sana CEO Colaso asante sana tulishukuru sana a uh, no president ikiongozwa na Tergat asandeni sana mlifika nyumbani mkatufariji we don't take that for granted a uh, national government led by a uh, head of public service Felix Koske alifika nyumbani akatufariji a uh, MBs okay a uh, Masieses asandeni sana kiongozwa na uh, Murgomen and finally I want to thank the president for giving a directive kuchengewa nyumba kwa mchane wa Kelvin Kiptum na mzee Samson Chepkieng wote tunasema asante sana Mungu awabariki na ataongezea mengi kushinda hiyo mliyotupatia asante sana Thank you so much, Your Excellency the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces. Asante sana. I'll now request to call Bishop Korir. Aji atuongoze kwa maombi ya kumalizia na ntaomba sote tusmame for the benediction. After that, kindly we shall maintain our positions. We'll allow the casket to lead, followed by the clergy and the family ndio watatuongoza kutoka kwa hivyo naomba tafadhali tubaki mahali tulipo tukimaliza maombi ili tuweze kumpatia mwenda zake heshima zake kwa sasa tumalizie kwa maombi basi tuombe may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you to you asnet and your children and the family to you monas and to you our beloved president and the government may the lord continue turning his face towards you may he be gracious to you as you go out and as you come in may the lord turn his face towards each one of us May the Lord give us peace, grace, and favor in all that we do. May the legacy of his servant Galvin live on through generations. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of you and remain with you. Be with you, our athletes, and may this God himself prosper you. And those blessings remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Let us say the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Tunasema asanteni Tuwape nafasi Paul Bearas tafadhali Wale ambao tuko mbele tuwape Paul Bearas nafasi Ili tuweze kuondoa mwili Tafadhali yule yako na Kigen Anaomba ukaribia kwenye gari ambalo linabeba mwili Takatifu, na kuita takatifu. 